Hi guys, um, apologies for uh, being delayed here. We've got uh, what seems to be a few technical issues with YouTube. Um, waiting to see if, uh, ah, here we go. Confirmation that the stream is live. That's, uh, that's uh, part of the pilot show. We're gonna iron out these issues uh, for future shows. But what I would like to say is welcome to the Elf Show. This is um, the first pilot edition of uh, Elf on BC TV. We're looking to um, bring you a weekly show, which is pure, unadulterated Elf products. It's a sort of cross between home shopping and um, community sort of beauty chat. Um, I'm joined in the studio by my co-host Amy today. Hello. Amy's going to be uh, getting involved with your, your Twitter chats um, today and, and, and taking your questions to Hannah. Hannah is joining us from the um, Elf store in Cardiff. Hannah's Hi, going to be uh, doing some 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 great looks and showcasing some products uh, on our lovely model Adele here. Uh, I'm joined in the studio and uh, in the Elf offices by the whole team. We've got the customer service guys upstairs watching us, um, watching us live and uh, taking your questions on Facebook. So please, please get involved as much as possible. Get the interaction levels up to a maximum today. Um, we're going to be bringing you some competitions. They're going to give you an opportunity to call in and be on this show live via Skype. Um, we've also got competitions and um, and yeah, just a lot of fun and games really. Um, we, we're really looking to get your feedback on the show. This is the Elf Show live hashtag. So get involved in Twitter or in the chat on um, on YouTube so it's our first time using it on YouTube so if you're getting any problems with the chat window please let us know we'll do our best to to rectify them um, you know uh, during the live stream uh, and on future shows but the the idea is four weeks time from now will be will be episode one of the elf show you're going to see a lot of changes here with the set and uh, and the setup is going to be uh, improved even more um, yeah so that's that's basically what we're going to be bringing you today um best thing to do is if you want to get involved in the show is join us like i said in the twitter chat so we've got harriet in the room here and the girls in customer service are going to be sort of bringing your questions down to amy and myself on on the floor here and we'll, we'll be posting questions to hannah hannah's tweeting away already so yeah sorry guys um, i'm on it <laughs> we're getting maximum interaction if you want to uh tweet on the show then please use the hashtag elf show live um that will will get your questions through to the show um one thing we do want to try and there is a competition running on Sky on skype so we've set up a new skype name today which is called uh beauty crowd tv, TV. yeah i think uh, gary there is a, a lower third somewhere with the uh, beauty crowd tv uh, Skype address yeah. there so if we could just keep that up for a while join us on Skype so basically open up your Skype chat add BC TV um, a beauty crowd TV and we'll be finding your your sort of um, your name coming through and we will give one of you a call so only join the chat if you want to be in with a chance to be called and spoken to on the show but the winner of that so the person that we choose on the skype chat will be getting a hundred pounds worth of elf products um, delivered to you by the end of the week so um, it is a good thing we're testing out this new skype system so we'd love to uh, to get you guys involved in that um, we'll be taking like questions, we'll be showing up some blogs and, and some tweets that uh, the community has been sharing with us this week. But like I said, this show is pure and unadulterated elf. So we're going to be um, going over really soon to Hannah, who's going to start talking you through the first look. Um, before we do that, we have got a link on the Elf Cosmetics website, eyeslipsface.co.uk. And at the top of the page there, you'll see a link to the Elf Show live. Um, you can actually go onto the, uh, the website, watch the show live, and then below the video, there is actually um, <coughs> all the products that we're featuring in the show. So if you wanna watch the show um, and shop at the same time, you can just add items to your basket while watching the show and then check out at the end of the show. 
We've got... For those eagle-eyed viewers, they might have seen that there's an exclusive free gift on the page as well. Amazing. So if Gary wants to go back on that. I'm doing um, the show, I can't get to it. <laughs> <laughs> but there's, um, if you can see, just at the top of the page, it says exclusive free gift. If you go through there, that's something that is only visible to those watching the show. Yeah. Um, so that's a little treat for you to us. From us to you. you. If you click that, you. there's a free gift there. Um, which you can get with orders over £20 for, 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 for viewers of the show today. So um, please do get your Skype. I think I've already had someone. Uh, yes, Ashley Tiernan is already in the draw to be called and, and, and be one of the customers Amazing. on Skype. So thank you, Ashley, for, uh, for joining us on Skype. Everyone else, please do a search, Beauty Crowd TV. It'd be absolutely brilliant to, to hear from you guys and, uh, and have a chat a bit later on. Um, yeah, let, let's move on to the first products, guys. We've got uh, some home shopping for you now. Um, Hannah's going to be creating a, a look throughout the sort of show, and we've broken that down into sort of three categories, isn't it, Han? And it's, yeah. um, I think, the I'll first one. I'll explain all now. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Take it thank away. you, guys. Um, so today we're going to be doing three segments. The first focus will be on complexion today. Um, and again, it'll be basics that you'll need for our Valentine's Day, because I know we're all looking forward to it. Um, and then our second segment will be our lips. And then our third segment will be our eye section. All right, so I'm going to start off here with Adele. So thank you, Adele, again, for modelling for us. Um, I'm going to start off with the Mineral Blemish Kit. Um, it's from the Elf Cosmetics range, in our mineral range. And it contains, um, it's paraben-free. It's no chemical dyes, um, and it's fantastic on the um, fantastic for minimising any acne that you do suffer from. And I know that we're gonna get a blemish before we go out, so why not get the mineral blemish kit out? So I'm gonna start off on Adele's skin today. So fully cleansed, antibacterial hand gel. And although Adele doesn't have any blemishes, she's got great skin, I'm sure you might just disagree, but I'm going to use it around the, the nose area, and it contains sulphur. Now, this is a fantastic property for absorbing excess oil from the skin. It's also going to help um, diminish blackheads, and it's also got tea, tr tea tree extract in there as well. So for one of those quick fixes, or for you ladies that are suffering from, you know, um, from acne at the moment, it is the perfect product and a perfect partner to accompany your skincare regime. So cleanse, tone, moisturise and ensure then that you use your blemish kit before you prep your skin using your primer. So blemish kit, just a nice easy, again, just around the nasal area, on the spot direct. The sulphur will draw any impurities out of the skin, um, but it'll also help to control and diminish those acne spots there. So I tend to just use it along the T-zone. You don't see much of a change because it is colourless, but what you will notice a change is over time. So three or four days into it, you'll find that the area becomes a lot clearer and what you're doing is you're preventing for the future. All right? So that's the first product then. Second product for your fabulous night out is going to be mineral infused face primer. Now I'm going to do a swatch section here. So I've got three different shades, and I'm just going to swatch them on my hands here. I'm actually bringing that up on the website now as well for people to see the pictures. So the first one is our Radiance Enhancer. This is a perfect product, should you want that little bit of Hollywood glamour. Alright, so it gives you just that little bit of a glow, but it also helps with skin that's discoloured. So if you suffer from discoloration, that one's a perfect one to go for. If you just want that, you know, outer glow, that's also a good, perfect product. Then our second one, for all those ladies who suffer from a little bit of uneven skin tone, maybe blemishy, a bit blotchy, use our green primer there. So that's the one I'm using there. Again, they all, this one disappears to colourless, as does the clear. These combat excess oil and flakiness. It also helps to control oil secretions as well from the skin. And this is just colourless, as you can see there. What this does, it also helps to lock on your foundation and give it love and jarity, so it keeps the makeup on for longer. So I'm going to be using the clear 
today. Just use one pump and it's like an air pump. So when you do pump it, it's air generated. So it's really easy to pump it through. There's also a little handy underneath there. If I just put that for Nick to see. Um, just in there as well, you see it's a see-through bottom. So therefore you can kind of, um, you know, come to the realisation when you're running out. So I'm just massaging that on the skin. Now, just so you have a comparison, guys, I'm just going to do one side of the face and then the guys are going to move on to a segment and then I'll do the other half in the, in the break then. So this just sweeps all over the skin, again, absorbing any excess oils, prevents any flakiness and it's also going to give love and jarity to your foundation to make it stay on for longer. So this is all the prep so far. Okay, so started off with the mineral blemish. Now I'm going to be now I've used the mineral primer. I'm now moving on to maximum coverage concealer. Now this is a really good product for just every day. If you're a girl on the go, you can always top up afterwards. You do need to remember that you don't need a lot for this, but it's really good for scarring, covering and scarring covering of blemishes but also those ladies who want to cover up a tattoo maybe on their body you can use it for that as well so my tip is apply it on your hand because it is a sheer to medium full coverage it is a buildable product I would recommend using the angled foundation brush for this now the key is, is I'm going to do a little swatch here so that I can show you you can build it up so you apply that first all over the area that you want to give the coverage to. So just glide the product on using the foundation brush. Remember, it is flat. It is angled. So what you're doing is you're picking up the maximum amount of product and you're placing onto the skin. It's almost like you're picking up some soil from the ground, a little bit like a spade, and you're putting the product to one area, so it's a concentrated amount that you're using. We've got uh, Rachel in the Hi, um, Rachel. on YouTube. She's going to be following the look as you're going along today. So it'd be quite cool actually if Rachel, um, if you could send in some images as you go. Do along. a selfie. Get yeah. a selfie. Definitely. The one thing that I'm trying to get people involved with today as well is to submit an Instavid. So I know Chelsea in the store is massive on Instavids, so if we could get okay, some of those me. in, that would be fab. So not only is this a foundation, it's a maximum coverage concealer. So basically it's maximum coverage, but you can also use it as a concealer as well. Because some people get misunderstood with this product because <coughs> of its name. They think, oh, it's just a concealer. Oh, it's, is it a foundation? I mean, what do I use this for? It's, again, multi-purpose. I know you've heard me in that before heard me use that before okay so as I said you allow it to dry so that's where I've used it there once it's completely dry you can apply another layer okay so that'll give you a fuller coverage if you've got a tattoo again it'll give you another fuller coverage so the more you layer the more coverage it'll get you but just make sure you've got the right shade for you there's nothing worse than looking a little bit lighter or a little bit darker in the area that you want to cover. Okay? How's that feel, Adele? Good. That's what I like to hear. And should you almost do like a crosshatch effect, you'll prevent any streaking. Okay, so that's just the maximum coverage concealer and using the foundation brush there. Next thing I'm going to use is going to be our cream blusher. This is fab. I love this product. It's not often used a lot because people find that they're, because it's going to be a cream, they sometimes think that it's going to be really oily on the skin. Um, and what it does is actually got like a velvet finish to it. So it's a cream to powder finish that's completely oil free. So all of you people who look for oil free products and want to have that lush, flush blush, then you've got this product here. Another hashtag there. <laughs> Now, I'm just going to swatch this on my hand, and I've put it over 
on the foundation there. Now you can see the difference in intensities. The more you blend, the more you'll find that it'll disappear. So you, if you want to build on it, just layer. <clears throat> and again, so I'm just doing it on the cheekbone here. If you just pop your head that side for me, Adele. Now, I know you've heard me saying about contouring before. If you're contouring with a dark tone, always go from the inner ear down to the mouth, and that'll create that chiseled look just in the centre there. And then if you're doing blusher, top of the ear down to the nose area there. With Adele's face shape, if you find that your face is... you want to narrow your face down a bit more, go from the top down. If you want to make your, uh, your face look a little bit fuller and a bit more flesh, especially on Valentine's Day, start in the centre here, which is what I'm doing with Adele. So just using my fingertip for this, just gently blending on the cheek. So again, a velvety soft finish gives you that radiant glow. And when you find that you've got the right shade for you, that perfect flesh. Let's have a look at you, Adele. Yay, you look lush. Just a touch on the brow bone here. Again, just to even out that complexion there, you'll find that that's enough. So the blush that I've just used is actually Seductress. Of course, because it's Valentine's Day, I'd be rude not to use that product. Um, and it's just a cream blush, so it's a cream to powder finish, which gives that velvety soft finish on the cheekbone there. Totally oil-free. That's why I love it, because if you're having one of those days where you're getting all hot and bothered, date night, then you want to make sure that it's not going to be overly shiny, you know, it's not going to go patchy, and it stays in place. So that's that one there. Now, once you've done the complexion, I always recommend when you've applied all your colour to then use a pressed powder, translucent powder or a mattifying powder. In this instance, I'm going to be using pressed powder from our studio range today. To match Adele's skin tone, I'm going to be going for sand. I'm also going to be using the most famous brush in our ALF Cosmetics store, is our Kabuki brush. Me and the girls absolutely love it and it gives you a really full coverage. It's a dome shaped brush. It's made from Teclon and it's antibacterial. What more could you want? It's synthetic, no need for real animal hair, and it's really good product to use. So I'm just gently, with the brush, applying all in. And this is a perfect partner to finish off your complexion. Just gently dab. And this will make sure that the makeup stays on all day. You don't need a great deal, and you just gently dab in. And how does that brush feel? Soft. Yeah, it's a fab brush. It's one of those that you need to keep in your handbag if you're a girl. Um, it's really great for girls on the go as well. If you find that sometimes on your nose, when you've touched your face, that your nose makeup sometimes comes off, you can, you've got a little pocket here where you actually have inside a little sponge applicator. So if, should you need to, top up a powder puff. They're the products, really, for today. So I'll just run through that for you. I started off using Mineral Blemish Powder. This is from our Mineral Range. Fantastic product for if you're having those breakouts. It's one of those things that you always need in your bottom drawer, just in case, and it's there to grab it out. You apply this in the areas, say, for instance, on your T-zone, if you find you're slightly oily. It contains sulphur, which will draw out any impurities. You've got tea tree, which also helps to rebalance. This goes in either the T-zone or directly using the application brush onto that spotted area. It will then draw it out. Use it day and night for that product there. That's available on our website. I then used angled foundation brush. Really good, again, if you want to get a good coverage, um, it's buildable product. Make sure that you use the Maximum Coverage Concealer, which again is oil-free. Um, fabulous if you want to layer, fabulous for those ladies who want to cover up a tattoo, or if you suffer from scarring, it's a really good product to use. You just gently blend this all over the skin, using the cross-hatching effect to prevent any lines or streaking. Before I put that on, how could I forget, because it's a crime not to prime. I use the clear primer. The clear primer all over the skin tone, and that locks and loads the product on to ensure that love and charity is had by your foundation, stays on, 
and it remains on all day. There's two other different tone, uh, tones that we do have as well, and that's our radiant glow for those ladies who suffer from um, discoloration. And we've also got um, our um, green primer, which is specifically for those ladies who suffer from redness or blottiness. Okay? So those options are there for you. If you're not sure, if in doubt, get the clear out. All right? Then I use Seductress, a little bit of flush blush there, added radiance on the cheeks. Really easy to use, again, going from the top of the ear down to the nose. Gently blend in down if you want to narrow your face. If you want to give yourself a flushed look, apply it from the cheek out and up. And that will give you a nice contour, rounded 3D effect on your cheeks. It's a velvety soft product, so it's a cream to powder finish. And it just makes the skin look fantastically flawless. Plus, again, oil-free, so you don't get that added shine or glow. And then set in the makeup using our pressed powder. Use this all over the skin, and that just sets your foundation for you. All right. Fabulous. Yeah, great. We've got some <laughs> questions that have come through um, on the social <coughs> stream and on yeah. Twitter. And Billy the Chick is asking, what is your suggestion for makeup if you've got particularly dry cheeks but an oily T-zone? Oily T-zone, deal with that first. Obviously, this person's got a combination skin. Oily T-zone, ensure that you make... Um, you can dust to begin with, dust to begin with, sorry guys, <laughs> just to begin Full with, just down the T-zone um, and using the mineral blemish kit. That's really good because again it's got sulphur in there throughout the day, it'll make sure that your skin is um, absorbed of any excess oil. And then also using the primer because this is a skin balancer as well, so it'll keep the moisture in but it'll also help to keep the, the makeup on. So. Yeah, those are the two products I'd recommend. And if you're a little bit dry, I'd kind of stay away from um, the green primer. Just go for the clear primer. Yeah. Um, it's just a better product, really, for that sort of problem. Brilliant. Excellent. And she's also asking, which of all the blushes is your favourite for long-lasting wear? Which one would you recommend? Blushes. So long as you set any blushes perfect, but I particularly like the cream blushes because they're oil free and I know that they're going to stay on and I've give me a little bit of a flush blush. Um, but then always set in with a powder, whether it be translucent or a pressed powder. And again, that gives it, um, it gives it just a better finish and keeps it on for longer. I just okay. wanted to also give a, a big uh, shout out to Cassie Lewis. Um, she seems to be having a few problems uh, chatting away with us in YouTube, but we are we are following the the hashtags and the social stream on Twitter. So please do keep your questions coming in there. You know, we'd love to hear your thoughts. If you've got any of the products that have been used already here today, do sort of let us know what you think. If you know of any blog reviews or you've written a review in the past, please share your links. We'll we'll sort of be bringing a few of those sort of uh, things in a little bit later. Um, Han, can you also yeah. remind us what um, concealer shade that you used for Adele? Oh, I do apologise, it was porcelain. Porcelain, fabulous. Yeah. That was Katina, uh, or Katia, sorry, was asking in the... Sorry, in the Katia, Houston. I didn't realise I missed it out. My apologies. <laughs> no problem. And we've got Billy is also asking in, you, on YouTube how to get the free gift today. And all you need to do is, if you're watching um, the stream via the website, you need to go on any page really there's the banner at the top go on to there and that's where the uh, stream okay. is being hosted and then just to the right of the screen there is claim your free gift go on there and it's all explained in on the product page for you there's no code you just have to add the gift and spend over 20 pound and you get that for free today but i think we've already had some questions about getting uh, the free shipping so it's basically you can choose to have the free gift or the free shipping um, you can get both if you spend over 30 pounds it was uh, something that we're working on here but um, yeah the free gift is available with free shipping but you do need to spend a little bit more with us to get that but we've got loads more products to bring you today so spending 30 pounds on elf products you know I'm sure by the end of the day your baskets will be uh, a lot fuller than that you know exactly. so um, yeah, again, we've got the, the page on the website with all the products there as well listed um, underneath and you can you can click through and uh, fill your basket as, as we're going. Please let us know if you are on the website and you are shopping. 
this is the pilot show which we're looking to do like every week in 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 the coming months and it's really important that we get your feedback on on products that you'd like to see um and yeah ideas looks For how you want the show to yeah go. and if you've got like pictures do send in your pictures of your elf looks i mean we've already put some tweets out today i wanted to give a big shout out to harriet rhodes who's uh, sent us a twitter picture today of her elf collection that's pretty good collection harriet we're going to send you uh, a free um a prize for for doing that the same if we give anyone a shout out today we'll be we'll be looking to get in touch with you and send out some freebies but Harriet, uh, Harriet Rhodes is, um, I think she's also a, a blogger as well. So definitely go over and check out Harriet's uh, hairbrushes and hot flushes um, <laughs> blog. You know, this is all about us sharing your blogs, getting involved with you, the customers and, uh, and bloggers. And we really feel that it's important to, uh, you know, to, to give these sort of shout outs. So, so do keep the questions coming in the, in the chat room and on, on, on Twitter if you are a regular viewer of the uh, BC TV live show you'll be sort of familiar with uh, some of the formats that we've we've worked with but do let us know how you're finding YouTube over Ustream this is really to get your feedback is the reason for doing the show today so uh, please um, do get in touch Definitely. And we also want people, if you see a question and it's maybe about a blog that you've written, if you've got any tips of your own that you want to share as well as Hannah's, make sure you're sending your links through to your blogs to us um, and we'll be showing them and taking a look at them on the show as well. Yeah. Big thank you to Ashley Tiernan, Cassie and Harriet as well for following on Skype. The, the link is on the screen now and if you have a Skype account or if you haven't, get over download skype now follow beauty crowd find us on there add us to your your contact uh, and you could be in the draw to uh, to win a hundred pounds if we if we give you a call today on skype so i'm really looking forward to that the guys are already sort of commenting here that they they're, they're more than happy for us to call them so at the moment there's a one in three chance of winning a hundred pounds so it's a great opportunity to uh, to get your hands on some some el uh, some elf products there definitely uh, still to come, we're going to go on to the lips products and the, and the and face. The eyes. Uh, and we, the are, eyes. we are having an awful lot of questions through about eyes um, and tips and things like that today. So we'll be answering a lot of your questions while Hannah's going through that section as well. Um, so if you have got anything, send them through and that will be what we're talking about next. So yeah, so I think if Hannah's ready, yeah. we shall move on. Are we going to go lips or are we going to go eyes? Lips. Lips. Let's go lips. And you're tweeting as well while we're live, are you, from yeah. on your phone? Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to answer as many questions as I can whilst I'm, you know, in between shows. So if I don't get back to you now, I will do later on. Now, again, Valentine's Day theme. So making sure that the lip is looking um, fresh and it remains on. Um, I'm going to be starting off with a product called Lip Lock. This, as the girls know, again, Hannah favourite. It's going to be another one. I do absolutely love this product because it locks on the colour and you're, you'll find that it doesn't bleed either. It's like a clear lip liner, so I'll just show you the product here. It's a clear lip liner, you can use it directly on the lip. It really doesn't matter either or either how you use this product. You can use it using the length here or directly at the tip. I tend to just skim across the product. And on the top lip, just gently blend over the top. Now, because it's colourless, it is fantastic because you can use it all over, especially if you're going to use um, a red lip liner or a pink lip liner. It keeps the lipstick on for longer and it just locks the colour on. It's a bit like a primer for the eyes, but for the lips. Okay, so that's lip lock. Just apply it all over the lips in the morning before you go out and then you'll tend to find that you don't need it to use it again afterwards. Now, I'm just going to place this on my hand because I'm going to do a swatch of colours for you. And this will pre prevent it from bleeding on my arm. Okay, depending on what look, look you're going for, I've gone for um, two choices of lip liner. One is in our lip liner with a blending brush from our studio range and this is in red. 
depending on what look you're after. You can use this just as a lip line or you could use it all over the lip to create like a stain. Or my fave is from the, again, Mineral Lip Liner Rage. This contains um, jojoba, shea butter and uh, sesame seed oil. Really nourishing on the lips, but because you put the lip lock on, it'll give it longevity, so it stays on for longer. I really love these because they go on so soft and they just glide. So I'll just show you here. So this is if you didn't want too much of a rich lip. So you can see the different shades there. Which one would you prefer, Adele? Go soft. Okay, I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna use the soft. <laughs> this one's my favourite. So I'm gonna apply this directly onto the lip line, and I'm gonna bleed it across here as well. So again, because it's so soft, I'm hardly putting any pressure on. I just roll it, you can see. It's just so easy to use. And then the top, the top lip is really important when you're applying lip line. Don't go down, because it creates like a downward lip. Go up with the lip liner, so it gives you a fuller lip. Sorry Adele, just have a little look at me, thank you. So again, contains sesame oil, jojoba, very nourishing. So soft and smooth when it's on the lip. How does it feel? Does it feel like it's dragging or is it just gliding. gliding? Fab. I think this particular lip liner brand is three pounds. Is that am I right? That's right. That? Yeah, yeah, it's on the screen. Yeah. Absolutely. Three for yeah. three pounds, it's an automatic. I know so many customers come in looking for automatic. We have the automatic in the studio as well. So again, really easy when you're applying. They just glide on. Um, yeah, so just easy products to use really. So depending on what you're looking for, whether it's a deeper, fuller, bolder lip, then maybe go for the red lip liner. Or if you just want a subtle, sexy lip, then just go for the rose in the mineral liner. So that's those two products there. Now, these don't get used enough, I think, conditioning lip balms. People think with lip balms, there's not enough colour or pigment to them. This one in particular has got a sun protection factor in there as well, but they contain vitamins A and E, so very nourishing for those ladies who suffer from chapped lips, especially in this weather. We need to make sure that we're looking after our lip. I'm also going to be using, from our bamboo brush collection, which I think is in... Um, the sale at the moment, if I'm stand corrected. Yeah, that's right. I love this brush though. I wish they kept them. That's currently £3 down from £5.50. It's amazing. Now, I'm going to use the swatch that I used earlier, just so you can see. Look how rich in pigment that is. It just glides on. Now, if I blend this, just a touch of it, over the lip line, that's with the darker shade, that's with the lighter shade. You can see that it's so changeable just by changing the lip liner but you still get the nourishment from it. You're getting the vitamins A and E, and you're also going to be getting the sun protection factor. So if you want a UV protection whilst on holiday, you can just chuck that in your bag. You can pop it out, and it just looks so pretty when you open it up and you offer that to somebody. Oh, I have a little bit of lip balm. I just think it's such a luxury yeah. oh, product. I love That's that. Really nice. is, I've got it's on my screen at the moment clip. like uh, some images, just uh, done a quick Google search. I love it. You can see how many people. Um, it's one of those you don't think for, for the price the that product. it is, three seventy-five, that yeah. you're going to get like such a satisfying. It sounds mm. weird, but as you're, if you're a woman, you'll it's know what that sound. The click means. of quality. <laughs> the click of quality, indeed. Definitely. Um, we have just. I've asked in um, on the YouTube page if, if anybody has reviewed the the lip bands to send over your blogs and we'll take a look at them because it's always great to see more swatches of the colours in the range. It's also really good for those ladies that aren't confident in wearing colour as yeah. well. It's a nice easy step into the product or a step into colour. You know, you're not being too overly bold. If you wanted to wear it on its own, it just gives you a touch of colour as you can see there. And it's, it's just enough of, a, of, a, of an intensity on the lip to make you feel like you've dressed up a little bit more. Mm. We have been, I've well. had a bit of an internal query come from um, the customer services team and Rachel has actually asked 
because she gets an awful lot of um, queries regarding making your lips look bigger and fuller. Yeah. And people are always saying, should they put lip liner outside of their natural lip line to make it that make them emphasise? Like, what's right. your advice? I would say don't do that because it doesn't look great. Um, stick to your normal lip line, and if you want to look like you've got a fuller lip, use a product within our range, which is in the studio range called Perfect Pout. It's got light reflecting pigments within it. You can place that directly where the cupid's bow is, just there as if you're kissing it. Really easy, and that'll make you look like you've got a fuller lip. You, you can just also dab that then. Yeah, just dab it. So pop it on your fingertip if you want to, or use it directly from um, the wand. Place it on the lip line, just in the centre there, and it'll just create that 3D lip. What you could also do is we've got a lip pencil and contouring tool as well that you could also use. Lip definer, pencil your lip liner in, and then just contour on the outside here and here with a little bit of light. That again will be light reflecting and make the lip look fuller and stand out more. But don't be going drawing on extra no. lip. <laughs> I will show this a little bit later on because I've got a tool actually in our eye range that you can multitask with. So Fabulous. Yeah, I've thought ahead. Perfect. I, I've just tweeted out a link to the Perfect Pout product on the ELF Twitter feed if anyone wants to go and, uh, and take a look at that as well. I always recommend using a brush when applying lipstick as well. Not only do you get precision, but you don't get um, like a build up. Say for instance, you've got... Um, like too much product coming out of the of the lipstick or of the lip gloss if you use a brush you can control the amount of product that you use on it this one is a particular favorite because it, again when i say about the um brushes in the past i like a flat brush to lock and load color on so it's just a really easy product so that's just an easy lip there i'll just go back through that so you all know what it is i've done so started off <coughs> with lip lock pencil colorless product it's a colorless lip liner that if you want to think about it like that you can also use it like a primer for the lips um, you can use this all over the lip either use it directly or use it use the flatter part of the product all over the lips that's going to hold on to the color it keeps the color on it stays on for longer and then what you can do then is once you've done that just on the lips use it around the lips just to prevent any bleeding so again, if you're using a rich colour, make sure you apply it, put, apply it over the lip line to stop the lips from bleeding and stopping anti-feathering. You know, that's a lot of questions we get into the store, so I'm just bringing them up because it's things that I know that we, we women are concerned about. Depending on what lip line or how deep or bold you, you want your lip to go, I have given you two choices today. Um, one's from our studio range and one is from our mineral lip liner range. Mineral lip liner is a personal favourite because, again, no parabens, no chemical dyes. You know, it's, it's just a great product to use. It's got your hoba in there. It's got vitamins um, A and E in there also. Um, sheer butter and sesame oil. So really nourishing for the lips and ensuring that there's hydration lip, lip locked on. Vitamins A and E, sorry, is going to be in the lip balm. Um, again, excited with the vitamins. Um, apply them onto the lip line, don't go outside the lip line and if you want a fuller bolder lip then use the lip, lip colour or lip liner all over the lip line. Okay, nice and easy, depending on what it is you're looking for, which shade you're after there, okay. Then finally moving on to our glossy balm with an SPF of 15 with the satisfying click of quality. Choose your colours, it comes in five different shades. This one again is my personal favourite, so it's Romantic Rouge. Again, trying to go with the love theme. Uh, can't help myself, it's a woman's prerogative. Um, apply it either using your fingertip, if you're on holes. Try and use um, the lip brush from the Bamboo range, or Studio range, and apply directly onto the lip line. And judge how much you want to use. You can either use the lip liner um, on its own with this product or you can use just this product with the lip lock so it's dependent on what sort of look you're going for really how brave you want to go so again just on its own and across the products so really easy to use there all right again SPF 15 you've got vitamins A and E some protection factor 
I'm and just the satisfying looking around the clip. internet now and I can see a few reviews on that on uh, Makeup Alley. It's got a, an average rating of 3.9. I love it. 71% uh, of people would buy again, which I, I might have thought it was a bit more. Maybe people not exactly getting how to use it properly. But If I'm honest, I have had one of those and probably I'm going to get frowned upon for, that, for this, but it lasts so long. You don't so need you don't to buy, like you need re-buy to. that regularly, yeah. I've got three of the colours already and the girls know in the store that I love the nice and nude. So if I'm having a bad lip day, it is my, I'm going to grab it, you know, yeah. because I know that if I've got their sore lip or they're a little bit chapped or dehydrated, yeah. you've got your vitamins in there that's going to help to nourish, hydrate and heal. And it's just something there for the, oh my God, my lips are killing me. You know, this winter, winter weather, it's killing my lips. You know, the wind is giving it a bit of wind chill. Mm. You've got protection there as well. And especially if you're going to go on holiday, the pigment in them, you don't expect. I didn't yeah, expect yeah. the pigment intensity from this product, but I absolutely love the intensity that it provides yeah. me. And that's with all of them. So really good product. If you're buying this product today, please do um, be sure to get on the website and write a, a review about it. We've, it's got four and a half stars out of five, but there's only five reviews on there at the moment. So, you know, more. in order to validate that, we need to get a few more. So we'd really appreciate you uh, getting on the website and uh, and writing some reviews, especially while uh, the product's on sale as well. So. Definitely. Um, Han, we've had a question about yeah. um, on the lines of chap lips and needing to use the balm and what have you. Okay. And how would you recommend preparing lips, chap lips, before, you, before a night out so you're going for a bolder look? How would you go about preparing um, them? With a chap lip, you've got to really assess it, really, because if, you, if your lips are really, really dry and chapped, you, you really don't want to put too much colour on because it's going to feel like it's going to bleed and you're just going to be conscious about it. So make the informed choice. So if you feel confident enough that you're going to be able to go back and forth to the ladies, just double-check it. Make sure you use lip lock. But if you're going to condition your lips, you can exfoliate. If It depends on how chapped they are. If they're cut, I wouldn't recommend exfoliating. I would just pop a balm on, maybe using the, the richer balms. Mm -hmm. Make sure you use lip lock though, because I find I've got chap lips at the moment. I've applied lip lock just underneath and just over the top. You just can't get away with it in this weather. Like you, you know you're gonna have the chapped and dried areas. So just make sure you prevent the bleeding by using lip lock and then using a nourishing balm. I know we do some in our essential range as well. Uh, lip therapy. I know that that's uh, Joe's favourite. She loves it. Joe, Joe loves it. Uh, BC Joe, that is. If anyone's listening out there and they want to know who Joe is, um, but yeah, she loves that product. And that was the first product that when I met her that she actually told me about. So yeah, it contains sheer butter, and for one pound fifty, it's a clear tone. Um, and we've got strawberry, um, blackberry, which is my favourite because it's got a blue tint gorgeous. to it. Blue tint to it, and it makes your lips look, um, your teeth look a little bit whiter. Um, and then there's vanilla as well, and they're a really good product if you're, a, you know, on a budget. We also do a £2.50 um, lip balms as well in the essential range, and they come in three or four different colours. Mm -hmm. um, they're also really good, a little pop, but you don't get that satisfying click like you do with this one. Harriet's sending me loads of links. There's some uh, some great blogger reviews. Um, a, a big American blogger, Musings of a Muse. Um, I've been following her for years now, but she's yeah. got a great uh, sort of review of the conditioning lip balm in there, which there you, you were mentioning earlier. Lovely photos. There's and one thing uh, that she's saying in her blog, which actually I was wondering about the best advice you can give Hannah. Yeah. And it's with with the pot and dipping in your finger all the time to reapply like and obviously people are like oh germs don't want that bacteria building up what would you say to do to the apply the best that? thing is brush our brush cleaner because it's antibacterial it's 375 you spray it on there you can remove a layer if you want to using a cotton bud or a tissue you know remove that layer anyway you prevent any you know, contamination. And I would say do that with your products anyway. It's an antibacterial spray. It's gonna protect your brushes, it's gonna protect your products. You can even use it on eyeshadows. You can just spray it direct. It's amazing, we use it in the shop all the time to like Cleanse. hygiene wipe down. Mm. A little bit of a hygiene freak in the shop. So I'm always like spraying everything. Everything's been sprayed, surgical spirited. <laughs> yeah, it's such a good product. You just spray it direct onto anything. Obviously at a distance. So if you can, you know, use your initiative, go about half a metre away from the product or a foot 
and spray. Fabulous. Yeah, it's a really good product. Just a handy, again, bottom drawer, just like your mineral, mineral blemish kit. It's one of those bottom drawer things that you should always have just in case for those moments. Perfect. Yeah. Um, Hope I've helped. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately that item uh, is out of stock, but it should be back uh, later in the month. Mm -hmm. um, I think if you do want to get your hands on that, the only opportunity is to get yourself down to the L store in Cardiff. So yeah, if you ever last, needed a good uh, excuse, the there's lot. one right there. So yeah, that's brilliant. <coughs> Sorry for my coughing, guys. That's all right. It can be excused. It's fine. So yeah, I wanted to sort of give a shout out um, to uh, someone from uh, Skype, Georgina Kent, to have actually met Georgina down at the uh, the launch of the Elf Store in, in Cardiff. Mm -hmm. um, just trying to find uh, her blog. She said she's feeling a bit under the weather today, so she's not up for actually um, getting involved in the Skype oh, call. Georgina. But um, do get well soon, Georgina. Lesser. I wanted to give a big shout out to your blog, The uh, Makeup Pixie. Um, which uh, there is a great sort of post on there about uh, the time when uh, the Elf Store launched and uh, talks about meeting me in there as well, which was uh, absolutely brilliant. <laughs> so, yeah, thanks, thanks, and get well soon, uh, Georgina. So, big shout That's out. That's always going to gonna be a moment meeting the Baron. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big deal in a lot of people's lives. Oh, we've um, we've got somebody on YouTube as well who has um, commented about recreating well not creating this look but creating her own looks um, on her friends um, and I think it's I want to say Renee I hope I'm pronouncing that right um, and she's uploading Renee some Hartland. pictures yeah Renee Hartland she's um, putting some pictures up to Twitter so we'll have a little look at them now and see see what she created because it's fab all elf products that she used with that as is well it, is Harriet skyping those through now is she I think we're trying to track them down at the moment. Okay. But yeah, so there's some we'll those But yeah, I know there's a lot of there's a lot of images of collections and things being shared. Like I'm getting a lot of notifications through on on uh, Instagram with just different collection photos and things coming through. So we'll be bringing those up on um, on screen shortly. Yeah, that's the best thing about these shows is your interaction, guys. We, we're absolutely getting loads. I just sort of having a, a tweet here from the Elf Store in Cardiff. Uh, they've sort of uh, put in some uh, some swatches up there for the uh, conditioning lip balms as well. So, you know, the great thing about Elf is that there is a wealth of information already online. We're trying to sort of, you know, bring more of that to you with the, with the live shows as well. Um, do remember that you can win £100 worth of Elf products today by getting involved in Skype. Um, got a couple of people already coming through there who are keen to sort of uh, to, there's about six people in the stream now so you've got a one in six chance at the moment of winning a hundred pounds worth of elf so do sort of follow us uh, it's on the screen there on skype uh, it's beauty crowd tv and that will bring you directly into the studio right onto my screen here and uh, we'll be looking to set up a, a call with you on this TV behind me uh, a little bit later. And literally all we're asking is for you to just pop in, say hello, maybe tell us about your favourite Elf product and, uh, a, bit of a, chat, and a bit of a chat, no pressure, maybe how you heard about Elf or something like that. So, you know, we're, we're, it's all relaxed and casual here. So please don't feel like I don't want to call the show because I'll be live and I'm in my pyjamas in the middle of the day or something like that. But do get in touch, you know, and we'd love to hear from you. We've got, had pictures already coming through from, uh, I know we've had, from um, Ashley Tin and there. Yeah. Uh, I can't find the picture now. Here it is. Ashley's Instagrammed on. us. She sat there with her, her Instagram on. She's she's done a little look as well in, in preparation for possibly being on, on screen. So, Fabulous. hi, Ashley. Shout out to you. <coughs> Please do send in your Instagram photos. And um, and if you've got product sort of focuses as well, uh, product pictures and, uh, and uh, Instagram pictures of when you've received your parcels, send those in. Harriet, there, there seems to be loads coming in today. It's absolutely yeah. brilliant. We've got... Um, Images everywhere. It's fabulous. Sweetener here, sending in a makeover last night with Elf products on the Elf Show Live. Big shout out to you. We'll get that retweeted as well. Um, we've had a question as well from Miss LJ Beauty regarding the minty lip glosses. And she has asked if they are in fact being discontinued. And I can confirm that they are. So if you are a fan of the minty mm. lip glosses, you need to get, get yours on now. now. Because they are. Get yours now. They are going to disappear sometime in the near future. So you need to stock up if you're we'll a fan of the minty We'll get that up on the gloss. screen and get the links tweeted out yeah. for guys who, who want to uh, stock up on that. 
But I'm just looking for it now. I can't, can't find it at the minute. I'm sure everyone We shall knows find where it. it we is. shall find it. But yeah, you know where they are. If you're a massive fan of them, you'll know where to find them on the site. They are absolutely fabulous and they're minty. I know we've had quite a few people here that they have been highlighted as their favourite favourite product. So definitely get your hands on them while they're still around. Um, we have, as I'm sure you're aware, an abundance of other glosses and balms and lipsticks that you can also take a look at if there is a colour that you used to love and that's no longer available, then we, we're here to advise on some alternatives for you as well. Yeah, please get in touch with the customer service team upstairs. Maybe a little bit later, if Claire's up for it, we could uh, give her a call on Skype. Claire Gosby, if you could, uh, you know, follow Beauty Crowd TV on, on, on Skype, maybe we can uh, have a chat with the, the customer service girls upstairs. Definitely, that'd be fun. A big shout out as well to Sylvia in customer service in Italy. Who we are currently warming up to get on yes, the show we, in the near future. We're kind of getting there. She's keen. <coughs> She's we're, keen. We're prepping Sylvia. We're looking. Obviously, we sell in Scandinavia. We sell in Spain. We sell uh, a lot in Italy as well. And we're, we're we're across Europe in 35 countries. But we are sort of angling to sort of do some italian language shows in the future god knows if i'm going to be able to be involved in that because obviously you don't speak italian get, but, get some uh, night courses on the go yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we can probably ask where the library is and <laughs> maybe no, have you if you do know yeah. an italian speaking makeup artist um who would love to get involved in the show we, we'd love to hear from you if you're an italian customer Hi to you and um, please do get involved and contact Sylvia um, via customer service and uh, Sylvia if you are watching hope to get you involved in the show soon via Skype. Definitely. Sylvia if you are feeling confident do get in, involved and, and, and uh, follow uh, Be Beauty Crowd TV on Skype there. So brilliant to see that uh, Lisa Prince is now following us on Skype as well. So we're, we're building Better. up a bit of a following. So you've still got one in seven chances of winning, guys. Better than the lottery. Yeah, much better. Much, much better. better. I try to win that every week. And, <laughs> uh, we're having some, some fab uh, just comments through. Um, and Amelia Witt is saying she thinks she's a little bit addicted to ALF. Best cruelty-free makeup brand around. And thank you for existing. Yay. Our pleasure. Yeah, Our pleasure. Yeah, cruelty-free all the way. <laughs> Um, yeah, and people are just generally a lot of questions coming through about eyes and how to make them bigger. Everybody wants to know what you're wearing on your eyes as well, Hans. If you want to take us for a bit of a run through. Oh, me today. Oh my gosh, let me. Have I forgot a what you've even put on. Oh, <laughs> hang on a minute. Let me have a quick gander. Right. Okay. So on my eyes today, um, I've actually changed my eyebrows. I've gone for a Cheddar's look from our Elf store today. Um, because I thought I was going to be doing, using this in our segment today, I thought I'd better give it a go. Um, so I'm actually using our um, eyebrow lifter and filler. And I'll talk a little bit more about that later on because I think it's actually a really good product, especially coming into the next season now, spring, summer. There's a little bit of a trend that we all need to be a part of. Um, and then on my eyelid directly, I've used um, Essential Eye Primer again. Guess what? Champagne. A little bit obsessed with it. Um, and then I've used the 32-piece palette in Everyday Collection. Um, and I've used three shades from in there. So I've used like a slightly lighter tone, a bit more of a taupey tone. Um, and then a light highlighter there. Um, and then I used the eye primer mixed in with um, one of the eyeshadows from the collection to create like an eyeliner. Um, and I used... Oh, hang on, I got it in my hand. I used the smudge brush. So that was really easy to create like a nice easy flick there and then I used it underneath there wherever was remainder on my brush and then finished off with mineral and that's similar to what I'm going to be doing today. Beautiful. So you'll be able to see sort of that look recreated. Shortly. Yeah. Fab. Awesome. A Valentine's Day favourite for all those ladies who want to start something new. Um, for around the eye area today I'm going to be talking about five main products. So if you're a first starter or you use the same sort of tones all the time, this will be something nice to try and something nice to change your usual routine. So I'm going to start off, I don't know whether anyone wants to be doing this tutorial with me today, but I'm going to be using a primer and in this instance a glitter primer. I'm going to be using a lighter tone in eyeshadow and in this instance I'm using a baked eyeshadow in Enchanted. I'm using a loose mineral 
um, and this is wild. Again, you can you can change the colours that you use. You don't have to you know stick to the same ones. I particularly like this for just like a nice easy um, day or evening look. Mineral mascara. Finishing using the eyeshadow um, highlighter, lift and filler. I'm just using the contour brush and a smudge brush. So again. In total, five products and two tools. So this will be really easy to achieve at home. If you don't have these tools, you can use your fingertips or a cotton bud. So I'm going to start off using the product Glitter Primer. Not a lot of people use this product, but it's an actually one of those products which not many people know about. But it's actually so good as a product. It's got jojoba and shea butter in it for £2.50. When I read that, I was like, whoa, this is ridiculous. It's also really good if you're just going to be using a pressed powder or a loose powder. And it actually lasts a little bit longer. It's, I would say it's semi-waterproof, because I did try it in the pool. Um, and when I've used it with water, it's semi-waterproof. So if you want that lovingerity over the eye area, if you're prone to get increasing a lot, make sure you use this product. It's really easy. You just gently blend it and you wait for it to dry on the eye area. But Sheer Better and Yehoba, it's such a good product. Colourless again and transparent. So I'm just placing this product over Adele's eye area there. Using my fingertips, just cleanse my hands with some antibacterial. Close your eyes for me, Adele. Just pop your head up for me. Fab. So gently patting, gently stroking. Apply this all over the eye area. You'll find that this is a little bit more sticky than the other products that I've used before um, and mentioned and that you may have at home and that's purely because it's able to lock onto loose pigments or glitter pigments better. So I'll do both eyes. Sorry Adele. My party purple nails digging into your eye there. I am so sorry. And just the colour's good though. <laughs> it's worth it. It's worth it. And just taking a look at um, a blog that we've had come through um, with the <coughs> review of the e.l.f. glitter primer um, from Love Peace and Makeup. Um, and she's just sent that through now and my screen has just frozen. Um, yeah, she's got a fabulous swatch with, with showing the pigment over the glitter primer. I'm going to do that today as well because it is, everyone's got to see it really. Fabulous. I'm now using from our baked eyeshadow range. I've mentioned this before. <laughs> When I think of baked, I think of sunflowers out in the sun, and it has got sunflower extract. I know I've mentioned this before. You've also got anti-aging properties of rosehip in there also. So it's going to be something soft, subtle, and shimmery over the eye area there. And I'm using the contour brush here as well. So I'm using this just over the eye area here. Blending it down and round. So if you see, I'm creating like a C shape. And on the other side, it will be the same. I'm just going to do one side for now. So just a nice C shape. Because the C is where you want the most intensity to be. So look up for me, Adele. I'm also going to be placing this tone just here. Underneath the eye area as well. If you want a concentration of colour, just on the inside of your eye here. Because of the shape of the brush, go directly in. Thanks, Adele. I should have pre-worn, shouldn't I? <laughs> and there it just opens up. Now. Just opens up the eye area for you. Close your eye for me, Adele. Again, if you want to make sure that it's into that lash line there, just gently go through the lashes. It won't be as scary when you do this at home, Adele, I promise. Just found another uh, review as well about the Studio Baked Eyeshadows. Yeah. And uh, that is from, I want to say it, Manoob. <laughs> um, which we'll, put, we'll tweet out her link to her blog as well. And That's she's on got my some, screen right now. Oh, there we are. Fab. She's got some gorgeous photography in there. Nick would be pleased with that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she reviews the, the products with swatches as well. So I've just done a swatch with the baked just Fabulous. now with the glitter primer. Fabulous. Just so you can see. So... This is the product. Can you see there, Nick? It's just under. Yeah. So this is the product. 
That's with the glitter primer. That's without. You can honestly, you don't even have to be a woman to realise the difference of that. Even a man could tell the difference <laughs> in that. Do you know what I mean? All you men are going to be out there now, Valentine's Day, getting that glitter primer, thinking you're doing, it, doing her a favour. It's amazing. I love it. Okay, the second, the third thing I'm going to go for is from our mineral range um, in eyeshadows. And this contains vitamin A and B um, for the eye area. It's a really good product because, again, it contains no chemical dyes, no preservatives, um, no parabens, 100% mineral range. It's a great product to use all over the eye area if you want to. Um, it's a translucent pigment powder. Um, but it's also really good intensity of colour and it contains light reflecting pigments. So I know there's a lot going on in there, but it's all mineral based. Really easy price, isn't it? Three pounds? Five pounds? Have I just reduced them? Three pounds. For the, the £3 mineral are three, three pounds. pounds seven, three pounds. Three pounds, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah sure. So I'm going to be using it directly in the lid here with the same brush. Locking it all in. If you close your eye down for me, Adele. So you want to aim for here with the colour, but if you open up your eye, Adele. Now, a really easy way to put the contour in is getting it in the right areas, keeping your eye open and just doing it above where the colour is. Not using too much of the product, lightly sweeping back and forth. The rainbow effect, I know I've said this before. But that way you'll remember the action you're supposed to be doing. So it's really easy to sweep. And because you use the primer, it's going to lock a lot more pigment on. Look up for me, Adele. And I'm just going to sweep it underneath the eye here. Because again, we're going to go for that sultry, smoky eye. But this, these two shades are really great for everybody. I, I think they're really safe products to use. Um, so that's why I've chosen them today specifically. If you want a bit more of an intense eye, go back in and do the second layer of the rainbow effect and that can give you a bit more intensity. I know a lot of people in the shop have asked as well how to create that sort of contoured eye where it's like a bold, bold area there. Again, just using this, close your eye down so you can see that is where the shadow is. If you want to intensify it, go back into your powder, load it up. Gentle circle in the centre there just at the end of the eye there and it just gives it a bit more intensity if it's too much remember what I said earlier about setting your makeup get the pressed powder that we used earlier kabuki brush press it in you've loaded it close your eye for me all of a sudden it neutralizes that eye down so it's not as intense Okay, so just do a quick swatch on my hand so you can see as well. So the mineral pigment. That's the product there. And that's the product on its own. I think again you'll agree that it does make a difference with the, pro with the primer the glitter primer and because if it's a loose pigment or a glitter it really makes a difference with the glitter primer because it's a bit tackier because of the sheer butter it'll lock it on hold on to it but it's also giving you hydration we've had a question from um, Renee actually asking about how do you prevent eyeliner and eyeshadow from falling under the eyes after application shadow shield and that's what, yeah and afterwards with the primer that's going to help hold it yeah, yeah that's going to help to hold it as well I mean if it does fall down get a tissue or because it's a loose pigment you can make a bit of static on your brush and it'll just capture it. So you can just lift up and it'll just capture it onto the brush hairs because it's synthetic fibre. You don't have to you know, worry about it. It just creates a static on its own Perfect. and it just lifts it off really easily. That's a new tip. I have not heard that one before. Yeah. Look. Fab. In We've fact, had, I um, think, was it Frozen Rose that said? It was, I think it was a blogger. It might not have been Frozen Rose. If, you, if you're out there, I know you gave me a direct message tweet. Um, last week and I'm really grateful for it because I didn't know that myself again teaching teaching each other which is always really good perfect so I'm now going to do an eyeliner so I'm going to place some of the glitter primer on my hand 
I'm going to grab the smudge brush with the smudge brush because it's flat again and small really easy to angle the brush and then going to get the primer with the product and look I've created a nice liner but it's nice and soft it's not a heavy line again you're going for that sultry look especially for Valentine's Day or even if just a day, a day look that's just you know to just give you a bit more definition than you would do normally if you're a glasses wearer this is also a really good one because you can just place, place, place the colour sorry underneath the eye that looks great already okay now glasses wearers go all the way under and through the lash line, keep looking up Adele for me, love. Is that alright? Sometimes it tickles a lot. You can laugh if you want. Again, going back in. As I said before, if you feel like you want to go a bit darker, go a bit darker. Do the first layer first, do the second layer after. That'll make it bolder and brighter. Look up for me. I know you've just referenced um, glasses wearers, but we've had quite a few questions come through about tips for glasses, glasses wearers. Yeah, well, this one's always a good one. We've had a couple in, actually, this week into the store, and a lot of people do ask the same question. Pop the colour. It's pointless at the top, because you'll feel like, you know, your eyes are framed already. Underneath is where the colour's going to be. People will draw, look straight directly at you, and then look directly down towards your lips. It's just natural reaction, the way, how you place yourself and your eyes. You just scour the face, you look at your eyes, you look straight, straight down. If you've got a bit of colour there, you'll feel like your eyes are lifted as well, because sometimes glasses feel like they're weighing you down, a little bit heavy. It's a nice tip. We had a lady in on Sunday and she really appreciated that. She was lovely as well. So again, using the same liner, close your eye for me. I'm just using this on the outside of the eye. Good for me, Adele. Perfect. And it's so nice because you don't have to have a lot of products in order to create different different looks. Look at me. Just in the tear duct here. Do you think this is the kind of colour palette that would work for most dye colours? Yeah, that's why I've chosen it because I, I know that I have been doing a bit of research and what people like are they safe colours, mm. they're safe colours, you know that you're going to be able to create a nice, you know, subtle change in your complexion and they're comfortable colours, they're natural colours, and I think they're just achievable to create like a nice look with. I know a lot of people are saying this is a great look for daytime as well, but I think it can work so well for night as well, if like you said, if you want to take it a little bit darker. Again, because you've put the glitter primer on, it's going to lock and load no matter what, and it's going to stay on. And I tend to use eyeshadows if I want more of a subtle look mm. for during the day. Now look, on purpose, I don't know if anyone can see, have a look there. It's fallout. Yeah. Okay. Get the static on the brush. Okay. Does that work with any brush or? Our brushes, for some reason, are particularly good for it. I don't know why. I think it's because it's synthetic they're brushes, hair. And they're it's fantastic. Well, I think it's the <laughs> Teclon in them. It's a bit like, you know, a non stick frying pan. It's like the same thing. It's yeah. weird. <laughs> <laughs> we don't recommend putting a frying pan on your face. No. no. Not the same thing. It's like the same, <laughs> the same effect, though, isn't it? You just yeah. clean that and it's done. It's like you clean the brushes and the product can, all the product is off it when you use our brush cleaner. It's just, Perfect. they're great products and they, they last so long as well. So I've just completed the eye look around the eye area, just creating a bit of um, eyeliner and a bit of framing. And just to complete the look, now I'm going to be using mineral infused eye prime, um, mascara even. And this is to polish off the lash look. Look up, up for me. It's a silicone wand, it defines and it gives a fluffier, fuller look. Helps the lashes to grow as well. Keep looking up for me, Adele. I 
and look down for me Adele. Now again just go at, brush down on the lashes first to, top, to coat them from the top. Sorry Adele, making you jump. And I just hold the brush and because it's a silicone brush what it does it acts a bit like a lash curler. So you're getting your definition, but you're also helping them to dry with a lot more of a firmer, curled, fluffier lash. I love this lash. This is the one that I'm wearing today. Look at me. Oh, I love it. It's more defined, but I love it. It's absolutely great now having the guys joining us in Skype because people are there sending me links to reviews of different products. It's almost like we've got like different people helping us sort of, um, you know, find co content for the shows and things like that. And uh, I've got about 12 people now joining me on Skype, uh, sending me links and having mm -hmm. chats there. So please do get involved on Skype. It's absolutely brilliant. The Skyposaurus. Yeah. <laughs> right. Good. So now that I've I've um, completed the eye look, I'm now going to frame the eye and the brow. Okay. So I'm going to use what I talked about earlier, which is the eye lifter and filler. This is a really good product. So you've got the lifter, which is this side here, which actually helps to structure the brow. So it gives you a bit more of a. Um, it supports the arch here. And it gives it a bit more of a lift, but again, it's got light reflecting pigment, so the light bounces off, so it gives you a more structured look. I've used it here, here, and here. So remember when I said earlier, I think somebody um, questioned us about how to create a bit more of a defined yeah. lip and make it a bit more pouty? Um, that's how to use it, using this product here. So you, it's like a duo tool. So if I do that for Adele... If you are watching us on YouTube, please do get over to the ELF uh, Cosmetics website because you can, you can actually you see go. links to all the products being used uh, below that there. Just uh, follow the links at the top of the page, which uh, says to the live show. Sorry to interrupt. No, it's okay. And then I'm just using it directly under the eye brow arch. So I'm framing the eye here. Now this will also give you a guideline for when you're doing your brow. Brows are big this season, really, really big this season. But for some reason, a lighter brow to what your brow is, is bigger. So that's why I've gone a little bit lighter, and that's using the, um, the light toned brow pencil. And it gives you more of a polished, defined brow. It contains cannula wax. So you don't get like a light finish, it's more of an intense finish and the drag on it is just so easy. But you can see it's got like that little bit of a sheen quality and that's the wax like you would find in a candle. So just a bolder brow. Wow. Give me Adele, sorry. Wow. Okay, and now I'm just going to go back in with the light tone. And just blend, really, with the lighter tone. Use your fingertip. Wow. Look at me. Oh, I love it. You look lush. Got to go out now. <laughs> and what's really handy with this as well, with the brush, um, with the pencil rather, is you've actually got a sharpener involved. It's like built in so you can sharpen your pencil. Love it. No. <laughs> Sorry, I love things like that. I'm such a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've got a review on my screen here from uh, 
actually I can't pronounce that, um, but it's uh, an American blog which we'll tweet the link out to and um, yeah some really positive sort of comments. She's mentioned all, all three sort of shades that we've got there and there's, uh, there's Yeah it does come in three shades, well. it's fantastic but it, it's particularly um, Chelsea and the girls in the store are really good at letting us, you know, keeping us up to date with what's hot and what's not and um, especially going into spring summer now you've got your purple nails are really hot so party purple is what I'm wearing at the moment because the girls would it'd be like why didn't you go on trend when you went in, on show what's the matter with you so I'm like bang on trend thank god um, and I and basically like a lighter brow um, and a more bolder brow mm. so using that product the you know the fill and lift product it's a really good product to use because you're going to get a lot more from it as well. So you've got the sharpener in there and you've got the lifting part that helps to support the brow. Um, and you can also use it around your lip line. I mean, I'll show you here because it's a lot easier to show her on somebody who's got no lipstick rather than somebody who has got lipstick on. So if I just use the mirror as an example. So if I just highlight in the Cupid's bow, it's really subtle. You don't see a lot of it. And here. So if you do here, here and the Cupid's bow, put a little bit of pelt perfector in the centre there and it'll give you a bit more definition in your lip. And if I use the conditioning lip balm, You see it now more, I don't know whether I should, can you see that Nick? You see it more now and it's more of a pout. It's easy when you haven't got lipstick on to show you what I mean because otherwise when you've got a lippy on it's like you can't really see it until you try it on but then it gives you a bit more of a pout. I hope that helped yeah. for the person that asked earlier. No, it's great. And it's, you know, it's, it's knowledge of how to use the product because to me it doesn't sort of like the tips that you've used there, they don't seem to be sort of like that obvious. They seem quite subtle, but they make a big difference on, on, on the final look. Then. Yeah, so I'll just recap on what I've used today. So I started off with the glitter primer. That contains jojoba and shea butter, and it'll make the eyeshadow crease proof. Um, so it's really good for um, that, you know, given that, that playability. So it locks onto the glitter, and it locks onto your eyeshadow pigment. And I have tried it in the pool, and it kind of is a bit waterproof. So I'm not saying it is waterproof, I'm just saying it kind of is. Um, but it's a really good product to have. Then I used the baked eyeshadow. Again, rose hip, sunflower extract, and jojoba in there. We've, could, we've got five in the range, six in the range, and we actually do kits in these as well. Um, and they're really handy to have. And this was the colour I used um, as a highlighter. Um, it's enchanted, and it's a really easy product to just give you a straight highlight over the eye area and again it locks on really well with the glitter primer giving it that really added intensity and a bit more boldness you can use it on its own though but again if you want it crease proof I would recommend a glitter primer or the primer itself I then moved on to the vitamins A and B in our mineral eyeshadow it's a really good product because again contains no parabens um, it's chemical free, no chemical dyes, um, and it's no parabens, preservatives. It's just a 100% mineral product. It's got light reflecting particles within them, and I think there are 18 in the range. I may stand corrected. But yeah, really good product to use. Again, because I've used the glitter primer, you could use the mineral primer, but the glitter primer will just give it that little bit more of a lockability. Can we get a close up of uh, the eye look on Adele again there, just to. Uh to sort of it's show the effect before. of the product. You can see yeah, the sort so of... Yeah, so there is the, the wild that I've used from the mineral. I love it because it's such an easy tone to get on with. Wild is really popular in our store because, again, people feel that they can use it themselves at home. It's not too scary. You look at it in the pot, it looks quite intense, you know, from a bystander's point of view, if you're just having a little look. Um, but again, it's not that intense. Right when you apply it because it's a translucent mineral so it's a buildable product it depends on how you layer it again using the rainbow effect the more layers you put on the more intense and bold it'll perform so yeah that's that's how you use the product there I used the um, contour brush for both the top shade 
uh, for the Enchanted Baked Eyeshadow, and then I also used it on the Wild. I also used it underneath the eye, and I've also used it on the inside of the eye there. So it's a really handy tool to have. If you're going to have two basic eye tools, those would be the ones to have. I then mixed in the eye primer with the Wild, as you can see there. Um, really easy using the smudge brush to create an eyeliner, and it's soft, subtle, and seductive. I love it. Used mineral, mineral um, mascara. It's a silicone wand, so it allows um, precision and definition. It gives a fluffy, bold eyelash. Um, and again, you can layer that if you want to. For a day look, one to two coats. For a more of an evening, bold look, maybe three or four. And then I finished off the look then with eyebrow lifter and filler. This is fab because, again, the lifter will give you um, support in your arch. Um, it'll give you a bit more of an intensity, as we can see on Adele there. And I would use it underneath the eye, so using the, the eyebrows, um, the eyebrow hairs, as a guidance. So go underneath them. And then I used the cannula wax um, in the light for the pigment just across the brow there. And because it's waxy, it'll help to move the eyebrow hairs in the direction and hold them for where you need them. If you find that too bold, as I said before, you want to make sure that you set, sweep and set all your makeup to make sure that it stays on for longer. Just set in using a bit of eyeshadow. Close right with me. Um, using a bit of pressed powder. And also, if you want to neutralise the colour a bit because you're finding it a bit intense, you're finding it too much, again, just go back in and just dust a light dust of powder over the top then. And that's your eye look. Hope that helps. We've had um, a comment in as well from uh, Georgina Kent, and she said that she placed her order about 15 minutes into the show, and it's already just been dispatched. So it's pretty epic turnaround. But I can also confirm that the customer services team are on their way to retrieve her order and put a little something in it extra for Georgina yeah. as well. Um, as a gift from us, and that was BC Joe's idea. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, the team are on it now. And that's um, a really good idea because Georgina is also um, sending yeah. me loads of links through um, through Skype here as well. She's recommending a blogger from Bristol, Midnight Violet. And as soon as I saw this blog, um, I was sort of familiar with it because uh, yeah, we we she's really posting loads of health products. But uh, it's definitely worth a shout out here. Um, to Midnight Violet's blog, uh, big following, you know, good on social, uh, and, and very regular and uh, loving loving the Elf products as well. So please, you know, get over and follow her. And uh, yeah, thanks to Georgina for sending in those links. Yeah, just a quick uh, note to Georgina, if she can pop your her order number through to you on Skype, um, and we can pass that straight on to the team, and they can find your order even quicker. Yeah. So and actually, perfect. everyone so far who's joined us on Skype. Um, if we can, you know, drop me a message after the show, we'll, we'll be great to sort of send you a little something for all your involvement because it's really helping us sort of make the show more interactive. While we were live there, I was getting sort of more reviews coming in from, from sort of uh, British bloggers and American bloggers. And there's one here called Hug, Kiss and Makeup. And there's a great review of the ELF mineral infused mascara, which yeah, Hannah's just fab. used there recommending sort of about four layers of that sort of yeah that's more of a bold evening look though three to four layers yeah. for the mineral i really wouldn't recommend any more than four because then it becomes a bit clumpy um and then if you do find it goes a bit clumpy we've got the brow and mascara wand in the essentials range really perfect to just separate those lashes if they get clumpy and if you just bring up my screen there ga um there's a great example here where it's uh first second coat and third coat and that just shows an example of um you know the quantity going on there with the different layers that's quite a quite a nice feature this is great isn't it this is where can we get this sort of level of information know, that's coming amazing. direct from people that are using these products you know people haven't been sort of paid to say this stuff you know you've got great before and after sort of examples of it there and um, <coughs> you know she's given her honest opinion value five out of five lasting power four and a half out of five lengthening four out of five and volume three out of five so 
a pretty Not good bad. all round. I've been uh, caught in the rain with it and it stayed on as well and I'm gone all smudgy or patchy. Do you patchy. Not want your eyebrows sliding off your face? Do you not yeah. want that? No, so... Or the mascara rather, not eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> Could but, put mascara on your eyebrows. But yeah, really popular one that, the mineral infused. And, yeah. Um, yeah. I know that's one that uh, was one of the first um, e.l.f. mascaras that I used because I'm always keen on a, a silicone brush and yeah, I think it's fab. Yeah. Absolutely fab. Um, we've had a couple of questions through generally uh, from some people on Facebook and through on Twitter and things and some uh, I've seen a couple now asking about the, be the very best way to use um, a stipple brush to apply foundation. So Small or large stipple? It's, they've just asked a stipple brush. Stipple brush? So just in general. The yeah. best way to use them, yeah? Yeah. Um, I'll grab them out of my case. Yeah. Oh, I've got the one. I've only got the large stipple brush here. That's okay. Cool. The stipple brush can be used multi-use, okay? I know I'm always about, you know, multitasking with products. Um, I tend to use the stipple brush for a powder, our mineral powders, in store, because again, you can buff it onto the skin quite easily, um, and it's a light dusting, so it's a sheer to medium coverage. The same if you use it with a liquid, um, or even a compact. It'll give you a light to medium coverage. And that's how I would use it. And I would just dust it, so starting on the T-zone, and gently blend in outwards, like that. So straight down the T-zone, and just blend out. So would you use the brush straight on, and then just go in? Yeah. It's a flat head, as you can see there. So it's flat, and you want to make sure that you're using that surface area, but it's going to provide you with a loose finish. So it's more like a dusted, a light to medium coverage. That was a question from Danielle Barr. She's just saying that was my question on there. there so thank Yay. you, Danielle. Thank shout you for out that. To you in the in the Skype uh, chat as well. There's, there's loads coming through. I hope everyone's okay. enjoying the show. Obviously, it's a Tuesday afternoon, three, five, uh, ten past three at the moment. I think we've got you know around about 38, 40 sort of people watching. Please do let us know that you're you're enjoying the show. I know a load of the guys in the, in the Skype chat are enjoying it. Please do join us on Skype. It's something that we're, we're striving to do more of in the future, um, is get you guys calling in on Skype. That's going to you know, be coming a little bit later. If everyone who has already followed us on Skype, if they could just give us a bit of a thumbs up, if they are willing to have a chat, and you know, we don't want to cause to put anyone sort of, uh, you know, at, um, at, uh, on, the spot. on the spot or, you know, make anyone feel uncomfortable. Um, I know know how it is sort of being on the live stream and have stuff it, like have that. Have it sprung it's on you? taken a while to build up the courage. But, um, yeah, definitely let us know on Skype if you're uh, willing to sort of uh, have a chat with us a little bit later on. Um, keep the questions coming in on Twitter and retweet the link to us as people telling me here that they think uh, YouTube is working out pretty well I don't know what yeah. everyone else is thinking on that I know we've had um, a comment from Wendy in the beauty care group and she's saying that she's finding the chat a little bit match on the side so I have just sent the link to the um, to the elf website so you can have a look on there because there are there is that option as well if you're not getting on um, with YouTube but let us know because that can be something that we can look into when we're building the actual yeah. elf slash beauty crowd page and I'm looking at Ollie because he is the man behind yeah. that mammoth task. Ollie's so the guy who sort of built that him. web he built the web page in the well basically yesterday, um, which is a you know a great start. It's got the, the video there, all the all the links to the products. I hope everyone's finding that really useful as Hannah was going through the through the looks there. But um, yeah, some very exciting very developments. In, yeah, very exciting developments in the pipeline with uh, the chat room, which we'll be sort of hoping to link Twitter, YouTube, and sort of Google Plus and Facebook all into one sort of beauty crowd specific chat room. Which um, you know, obviously, you can imagine that takes a little bit of doing. But uh, Ollie's the man for the job. And the feedback there. helps yeah. for the features and and all sorts. Of that it helps. So anything, that, any contributions that you've had will be greatly appreciated. Um, Lisa Prince is asking um, she, if she pops away for ten minutes, will we still be here when she comes back? And yes, yeah. we will. We are not going anywhere for a little while. Hi, no, Lisa. No, uh, <laughs> she tunes in every week. 
We're gonna, yeah. we're gonna, we know we got more questions for Hannah. We got more questions for you to get involved with. So if you want to talk about your favorite product or something that you found, it was, you know, it's meant to be an eye product and you've used it as a lip product and it's amazing. You, let us oh, know. Oh, let me know. We want tips like that. Do let me know. Usage is just the best, absolute best. The more condensed my makeup bag, the better, because I can quite easily go with a, a puller oh, no, trolley the half my the time. It's ridiculous. I need a whole <laughs> new office just for the makeup. Exactly. So uh, anything that you've got Thank and you, you want to talk to us about, just get in touch. We, we're here We're here this afternoon. Um, and yeah, again, share your blogs. If you find anybody or if you want to champion somebody else, share your blogs with us. I noticed uh, we didn't get a follow from Claire up in uh, customer service, but uh, I hope the guys up there are, are getting on well. Uh, maybe we can get a Skype call up there just to sort of, uh, maybe someone up there with their, their mobile or something, just so those guys can give us a, a bit of a wave uh, in, coming up. Definitely. Um, obviously we've, we've been through the looks with those products. I mean, perhaps, well, we'll see how it goes down in the second half. I don't think we could sort of start again with the looks, but we could go back through and, 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 build and, on. and, and, and uh, you know, just reiterate the, the actual products. Yeah, wanna, that's fine. You know, put Hannah on the spot at some point. But, I love um, we've got We've got so many questions and things coming through as well. I think we can we can go through some of those and, and get some of your thoughts on your favourite products and your dual uses products as well. So Yeah, I mean, it would be nice if people want to see specific products as well to be used or they don't know how to use a product. Give me a shout out. I'll have a little rummage through my box, my box of tricks and um, see if I can pull something out of the bag for you. Um, because everyone wants to know how to use products that they've got in their, their makeup bag that they haven't used for ages. So just give me a shout out or give me a little tweet. Have the phone ready, so give me a shout out. Um, yeah, just, just ask Hannah, um, at Hannah Jenkins, and I'll be able to answer your questions on there or I'll pick one out and give you a shout out. Perfect. Uh, another nice. hashtag, pick one out, give you a shout out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we've got any um, adverts or um, trailers that we can go to well, and show the, which ones are loaded. The Valentine video would be great because that's going to be released uh, maybe later in the week. Um, so yeah, if Gary could run Gary that video that. shortly. We'll, we'll be back a bit later. We're going to have a little regroup. Re sorry, obviously uh, need, a, need, in need a drink. Of a breather. So <laughs> uh, yeah, be back soon. Thanks. Hey guys. 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 Hey guys. 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 Nothing goes. <laughs> nothing goes well here, but uh, <laughs> that is it. Taclon or taf taflon? Taflon or taclon? That is a debate. Han, we're um, we're actually uh, picking that all up. Sorry. Yeah, just just about. We got got the fifty minute shout. Guys, this is the way it goes when it's live. We uh, we thought we had a little bit longer to regroup there, but we're we're back in the I'm in the sorry, in yeah. the room. Um, this is uh, all live and unedited, and uh, <laughs> it's actually brilliant when things go wrong. It's one for the bloopers reel there. So These I, things I, I, I'm actually really keen to sort of give uh, the Skype chat a bit of a go a, a bit of a go here soon. We've got. Um, a number of people sort of saying that they're they're willing to to, to get involved on the Skype chat. Um, we have got a little technical sort of switch over to do if we if we're going to go to that. But um, Gar Gary can bring that up. Okay. 
I, I have to move because we're going to bring the, the <laughs> Skype caller in here. <laughs> Gary but, is um, navigating the set this afternoon. Yeah, do get over to the website, um, eyeslipsface.co.uk. We've got all the the um, the links on there to the products that we've been talking about. Uh, coming up in future shows, we're going to hopefully be a little bit slicker than this. Uh, perhaps be a, a little bit less conversation and more more sort of product focus. You know, and let us know what you like about the shows. Do you like the conversation? Do you like us showcasing different blogs? Do you like us asking out your questions or do you like seeing the tips from Hannah, getting her experience on using the products? Teflon, teflon, yeah, well, if teflon. you love Teflon, Teflon, Teflon. I, I, I feel like that's going to end up oh, getting right. remixed. Remix and uh, uh, there's, well, loads of technical issues now. They're just, they're just mounting up. But um, that's the way we roll, you know, is... Uh, we get through it, living and learning. Exactly. It's good. Um, I know a couple of people are giving their little their tips and things on, through on the on the chat. So people are saying about with the um, mist and set that it works really great to cool hot sweaty men down in oh. parties. Apparently, <laughs> someone oh. is saying on New Year's Eve they use it to can't to cool their boyfriend down. If, so we, if we get any more yeah. technical issues, I we'll think I'm going to need some <laughs> of that myself here because, yeah. as you can see, it's time to get a little get bit a hot. Bit. A little nice. bit hot under the collar there, but... Um, it's one of the days as well, I think. It's the first bit of sun we've had in 2014 so far, and it is, it's making the office warm. It's, it's playing havoc with the lighting, so we are fighting the sun today, but we love it. We've got people in the, in the chat room here. Miss LJ Beauty saying, go Ollie. So, you know... The, the go Ollie! The quicker, <laughs> the quicker you can build those systems, the better. He's That's like what Superman. they're saying here. So, he's actually... Okay. He's actually getting right into it now, and he's, he's coding as we speak, Miss LJ Beauty. So uh, <laughs> thanks for your comments on there. We've got Hannah readjusting her mic, which is a, a, sight, a sight to behold, I promise Oh, don't that. know, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> it's all, it's all um, in there, so yeah, it's all done now. It's all present Sorry and correct. Sorry for the exposure. So everyone is back <laughs> where they need to be. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so I think going through some of the questions and stuff that we've had, we've had a big chat about certain um, different hints and tips that other people have. Mist and Set works as a great coolant. Yeah. Um, is there one product that you've that you've been using recently that you that has really transformed what you do on a day to day basis? Is it like it, talking to people watching and to yeah. Hannah? Is there something that's changed your makeup bag? My makeup bag is definitely um, the Shimmer Palette. With yeah, the four products nice. in there, four shades in there. <coughs> I think it's a fantastic product. Um, it's buildable, you can use it underneath, you can use it over the top. It's great as a highlighter, it's great as a camouflager. I used it on a lady on the weekend with freckles. Um, she really wants to cover up those freckles. I put that on first and it creates like um, a shimmer mask. And then you apply your foundation over the top. And it, it is fantastic for a layering tool. You use it underneath and it, it just does did the job that she wanted. She wanted coverage, um, used the maximum concealer, and I applied it with a sheer coverage using the stipple brush, and it transformed her look, it really did. And then I applied a second layer, because obviously you've got to wait for it to, to dry to ensure that you get the lovingerity from the product. Yeah, shimmer mm. palette, 375. It's amazing. amazing. I Fabulous. actually, I've, I've had a shimmer palette in my makeup bag for a very long time. And when I had some friends come to stay, girl, the girls, obviously, that was one thing that kept accidentally being put in the wrong makeup bag. And I was like, <laughs> well, yeah, I know that sure. I gave it to yeah. my friend Kitty Kem's photography. Um, and I know that she follows us on our show as well. And she's obsessed. And every model she has now in the studio, she... Shimmer. She shimmerifies <laughs> them. Bit of shimmer. But yeah, it, it is a fab product. It's really great. And I know um, Heidi used it last week as well, didn't she? Yeah, she, yeah, yeah she's a fan of it of as well. Definitely. Um, yeah, just a reminder for everybody as well that there is a BCTV live show coming up this week um, on Thursday and we are um, getting everything in place for that. So yeah. if there's something particular you think is worth talking about still, let us know. We're still looking for yeah. things to put into the... I think we're going to be bringing you a few international guests across Skype. Definitely. I've been linking up with some... Uh, beauty bloggers and red carpet uh, uh, 
vloggers from Los Angeles. I've got some guys from Atlanta. We've we've got some guys from a community radio station in uh, Philadelphia who got in touch with us, who wanted to come on and do a bit of a, a makeup feature as well. It, it's uh, you know it's, it's exciting. Getting, yeah, it's mm. brilliant to think that beauty crowd is getting out there to well all over all parts of the globe. So Definitely. that's absolutely brilliant. We can confirm that we've had the thumbs up from uh, Claire in customer services that the free mystery product, additional product, has gone into Georgina's order um, and that will be with her soon. So yeah, if you do place an order this afternoon, do let us know and we'll be able to add a little something extra for you. Yeah, if you're watching on Skype, that <coughs> makes it especially easy because you can Skype us across exactly. your, your order number in private and we can uh, make sure you get a, a prize out there. I'm going to have to speak to Gary in the control room here and I'm going to be the only one that can hear him. But uh, if we were to go to a Skype conversation soon, Gar, it, it's working, is it? So, And you've got all the audio stuff set up for that, is it? There we are. This is a world exclusive on... Um, <laughs> I need to move to the right. To my it's like right. Gary's like Gary's like right? a sat nav. It's <laughs> 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 classic. Oh, it's so Gary in my ear. I'm watching the screen there, and he's telling me right. Who's alike. right? Someone's right. Someone else is right. Like I said, it's all unedited <laughs> here. So we'll uh, come next week. Now we'll have marks on the floor, and everyone will know they're not not to budge. I know Rachel's joined as well. Rachel's another. Um, oh, a direct message of mine. I love Rachel. So thanks for tuning in. Perfect. Hi, Rachel. So everyone in the studio, um, it's only going to be us, uh, me and Hannah, who can hear at the moment. Um, <coughs> the technology exists for us to hear in ear, but obviously it will be going out over the social stream. Um, just a quick question. If we do speak to you on Skype, could you actually sort of close down the, um, the, the video stream if you've got the audio coming out of your speakers because that'll create a bit of a reverb and it'll be quite confusing when we start hearing our sound delayed back and things like that but uh, really appreciate that I'm getting everyone in the social stream I'm available I'm available <laughs> you know I, I promised a hundred pounds to anyone that we called but um, I would like to you know be happy to call a few of you maybe we could sort of uh, you know if yeah if the guys are willing to perhaps uh, you know split up the prize there because we couldn't sort of uh, give away hundreds and hundreds but um yeah we're gonna give it a go here and i'm gonna send I'm excited. send this through that sounded like something out of the I'm old hearing, it was an alien i'm not hearing Bando. it in my ear Amazing. that's because i'm calling it on the wrong one my, my mistake i got to use this one just while we're connecting that, I must apologise because I feel terrible now for Nicola Murdoch because she has put up a picture of her view and because I said that we were annoyed at the sun, she's currently <laughs> in the middle of like what looks like a blizzard. So I, know, I, I shouldn't really it. moan about the sun. So she's saying that she's, she's got that view at the moment. So sorry, we'll send some of our sun up. <laughs> Hopefully that'll help. Okay, my mistake there. I had two, two Skypes calling there. So we're calling up Miss LJ Beauty here. LJ Hopefully Beauty, yay. she's able to, to share her video with us. It's exciting. I'm just wondering, is her name Laura? Uh, we'll see if Lisa. we can find that out now. Lisa. Hello. <laughs> oh. Hello. Can you hear me? Looks like we might be having a problem there. We're, we're struggling there. This did work on the test show uh, several times, so um, apologies for that. I'm, I'm going to come back to you if uh, if you are available. Let, let's try someone else here and, and see if that's working. I seem to be getting the audio here. see on Twitter that uh, Miss LJ Beauty is also having a bit of snow so could be that disrupting Skype it's causing all kinds of problems now. No, she just tweeted it. The person whom you're yeah. trying to reach is currently unavailable. <laughs> Please leave a message <laughs> after the beep. Uh, looks like. Hi Ashley, this is Neil calling you from the beauty crowd. Um, We're live. Sorry that you couldn't be here to take the call. Looks like she's saying that uh, she is available now so 
this is this is great. I think we're going to have to we're going to have to set this up in the in the in the control room and take these calls um, before bringing them to the live stream. Here we go. Ashley's calling back now. So let's let's see if we can have that chat here. Uh, yeah, she's calling me through um, through Skype. Thanks Hi Ashley, I'm going to have to call you back because I've, I've answered it on the wrong on the wrong thing. I'm sure the viewers are just dropping off right now because we're, we're all right. We're, we're, all right. We're, we're struggling at the moment, but I'll, I'll, I'll have to call you back, Ashley. It's great to see you there. Thanks. Live this, and unedited. This is totally this is live and unedited, yeah. guys. This is what... Any questions? Is, keep the questions at coming At the moment, in. people are just asking to be involved in the Skype session. So, so nobody's interested in questions. No, no one wants makeup tips anymore. <laughs> they just want to appear on they the show. They just want to be on I Skype. I need some of that stuff. <laughs> FaceTime. We need, we need Mist and Stats for that. We need Mist and Stats staff for Neil. Right. The, the, this, It'll happen. This looks like it could work now. Uh, hello? Yes. Hello. Hi, Ashley. How are Yay. you? I'm not sure if you're getting. I don't any, know if you can uh, see me. Uh, we yeah, can, we can see, see you on the live stream now. I'm not sure if we're sending any video back to you at the moment. I'm not sure if you're able to see us or even hear us um, at the moment. Doesn't look like she can hear us. So, absolutely great that Ashley's involved. Here's proof that the video works anyway. Whether the audio works is in that. I'm not sure if you're seeing me at all or yeah, hearing me. We are seeing you, but she and I think we're hearing you. But unfortunately, seems like you can't hear me and uh, and and see us. That 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 okay. would be why. Um, I tell you what. Um, we're gonna have to. I'm not can't see your video at all. <laughs> no, I, I'm I'm really sorry. It's great that you've been involved here. I'm very much appreciated. Um, I'm gonna have to sort of hang up on you now. Um, if you do watch it back later, you'll you you will be able to hear me. I can't me, hear you. <laughs> I know. I'm I'm sorry. She can't hear me. Um, apologies for that, <laughs> guys. It looks like the. Um, the wonders of technical science are not helping me out here. <laughs> it's just getting hotter and hotter. The lights are bearing down on me more and more. And now Miss LJ Beauty's calling me. Every, everyone's ringing us. So unfortunately, we haven't got any audio or video coming we through. We can do a while. Perhaps do the conversation through mime, maybe. I'm, I'm going to have to hang up. Um, I think the best thing is if we run like a video uh, for like maybe 10 minutes or something like that. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. Just a, a short video just to, um, for me to check a few settings. Uh, obviously, the show is coming to an end now, but I am keen to stick with this. You know, we're, we're all here having a bit of fun, so um, it is the pilot show. If you've just tuned in, um, this is the Elf Show pilot. Um, we've been doing home shopping on the channel today, and this is now the conversations. We're trying to get uh, uh, customers involved on Skype, but we're having a few technical issues here at the moment. So please bear with us. We'll be back after these short messages, and uh, I'm going to try and, uh, and get this working before the end of the day, uh, before the end of the show. So uh, We will beat Skype. We, we will. will master it.
Okay, guys, um, we are continuing with the technical issues, I'm really uh, sorry to say. Um, there's a bit of uh, confusion sort of in the, in the studio here because Ga Gary can't hear what I'm saying and uh, um, I need to sort of run a couple of tests. So if everyone like, wanted to just make a cup of tea or something like that for two seconds, me and Gary, this isn't probably, you know, the most sort of orthodox thing to do. But if Gary... I can just ask questions. Okay, answer some questions. Let's, let's do some questions, Han. Yeah. There's plenty coming through. Okay, okay, do that. But, um, it, yeah, unfortunately, we should have done uh, a little bit more testing. We did, uh, we did test it out with uh, another Skype account, and unfortunately, we've sort of set up this new one, and uh, one of the settings in there um, seems to have gone, on, gone awry, I'm afraid. So... Um, I will keep inquiries? working on it. If if Amy and uh, and Hannah want to take a couple of questions while I uh, I nip out and chat yeah, to Gary, that would be great. Yeah, no problem. Um, well, we've got everybody coming through with um, talking about their um, how they use like the hundred piece palettes and the geo palettes and things like that. How to use colour. So basically, yeah, let's talk about colour. Yay! Love I love colour. colour. Um, yeah, really easy. I would say, obviously, don't use the whole palette. If you get a 100-piece palette, um, use sections of it. And choose, <laughs> choose two or three colours when you are um, using the palette. And have um, make sure you have one highlighter, one mid-tone, and a darker tone. And that way you can create a really easy... Um, 
uh, eye look with those. Um, Nick, would you be able to grab me a palette just so I could see this? Some in the box just down there. <clears throat> and then I can show you a couple of colour color combinations that I know that work. I know we've spoken before, Hannah, about the um, colour wheel and always going opposite for eye colours and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, colour wheels it's are really handy to, to use. You should always really have one like to hand on your computer or on your phone. And they're really handy when you're looking for colours like to suit your eye tone mm. um, or, you know, in general. It's just on the top there. Brilliant. The hunt for the eye palette is Sorry, going on. Sorry, thank on the you so much. Life. So I've actually used in here our marble collection. Um, this is really good to use. Um, they come in colour sections, so you can't really go wrong with it. Um, you can choose down the grade, or you can choose across the grade. I would never use more than three if you're like really scared of using colour, because otherwise it can be overwhelming. Um, I am going to show you um, a look with Adele today, which is going to be really easy to transform a look. Adele's actually wearing some pink trousers, which I don't know whether you can see, but I'm going to use this tone from the palette in this collection. I'm always scared when I open this because there's so much colour and I get a bit too excited sometimes. <laughs> you might just lose control. Yeah, I get a bit excited, as you can see. Like, <laughs> you're going to end like, up breaking Ooh. your own rules, Han. Yeah, I will end up breaking up my own rules. This is the shade that Adele's actually currently wearing. So a shade this tone, a shade similar to that one, and then I'm going to use an adjacent tone as well. So I'm going to use um, a mottled tone here. So I've used colours on Adele's eyes already, but like I said to you before, You can neutralise that look down, close your eyes for me Adele, by sweeping some colour over the eyes. And again, I'm just not overwhelming. You could be going out, you've got that in, you know, in your office drawer. It's a last minute ditch attempt to make yourself look a bit different before you go out. So I'm going to show you how to make that happen. I do apologise, I'm going to cough. <coughs> my apologies. Just sanitise my hands. All about hygiene. All about the hygiene. So, just using. Funny enough, I'm actually going to be using um, the ang angled contour brush, and with this, I'm going to be dusting a light shade. And as you can see on the brush there, if I just get that to Adele, um, this is a really good tone because you can see it's like multi-tonal. It's got like a lighter shade, and it's got like a like a darker shade in there. It's like a mottled tone. So I'm going to dust this over the eye area. And because it's a flat brush, I can really adapt that eye really easily. So I'm just making that slightly lighter. I don't know whether you can see the difference there as a viewer. It's just slightly lighter. I'm then going to use the same brush as before, so the um, contour brush. I'm going to use the light shade of the purple. I'm going to use that on the outer corner of the eye here and just dust it over that way. So again, I've just changed that colour slightly on the eye area because she's going out and you can see that subtle change is becoming a bit more intense. So just buildable colour, a pink shade again because it's going to make you look a bit more wide awake. Open your eye down. Sweeping that shade underneath the eye as well. Okay, really subtle. Hold that for me, Adele, if you wouldn't mind. A sec, that's fab. Hannah, gonna, um, yep. Natalie Watkins is asking, um, is there Hi, any Natalie. way to stop eyeliner collecting in the inner corner of your eye? Not so really. What would be? It's just something that's going to happen. Your eye is going to constantly be making, um, secreting some like uh, water from your tear duct because it's protecting the eye. Unfortunately, it's just part and parcel of it. Just using a cotton bud, keeping a cotton bud handy in your handbag is just like what I would recommend. Um, and just doing that directly after you've done your makeup before you go out and that usually helps. There we go. All right. Using the soft smudge brush and using the glitter primer again. I'm using the darker purple. So just this one here. Sorry, Adele, I'll put that right in front of you. <laughs> Hold that for me, honey. Just 
just swatching that on my hand just to make sure that's the right intensity that I need. That's me just slapping Perfect. my thighs because I think I've got it working Look here. Look up. Slap your thigh with glee. <laughs> just adds that sl slight brightness underneath the eye area there. Close your eye for me. There's just no stopping the professionalism of Hannah here, just keeping mm -hmm. it going, guys. She's like, no, I'm, and I'm on Amy this. As well I'm there. on this look. I started to get a bit stressed out there, guys. And I'm creating an eyeliner using this shade. Can can we perhaps try an, a different, like a more bolder eyeliner? Can you show how to create that? Yeah. Extend it out a little. That's I'm just really using the I just think that it's really nice to use a colour at the moment because it'll be coming into spring summer. Yeah. Um, so it's making sure that you're staying on trend. Um, I can do a bolder one, but I think just for this instance for a second, using a colour, it's because when people have these palettes, they think, oh my God, it's pointless. I'm never going to use it. It's a cheapie. The pigment's going to be rubbish. And it, they really are not. They're so intense. So long as you use the correct products, you know, £2.50, £1.50 eye primer from our essential range and you've got it covered then. It'll increase the intensity, it'll prevent creasing, it'll give it love and jarity, it'll intensify the colours. There'd be no reason for you not to use a palette like this and to be scared by it. Just don't. Just take it in sections. You know, limit it down a little bit. Concentrate it. If you're scared, try to use a little bit of the colours that you've got here as eyeliners. Don't be scared by the colours. Colours, not a tattoo. You know, it's not going to stay on there forever. You can wipe it off if it's like something that you don't like. But there are really no rules for colour. Just go, go out there and flaunt it, really, with the colour. I'm going to use a bit of a bolder colour. So, any suggestions? What have we gone with so far? We've got a purple. Pardon? Have we got a purple? Yeah. Got We've got a, a bold purple, purple there. Fabulous. We've got, we've got Sorry. Cable, cable we've got fitch going on. <laughs> Can I just get a thumbs up, Gar? That's yeah. all good. We're sorry, all good. I sorry, everybody, if you could hear <laughs> other things. Um, bold purple, you said, yeah? Yeah, let's go with a bold purple. So, again, oh, using this. glitter primer. Uh, Miss LJ Beauty is suggesting using shadows wet as well, which is. Yeah, that's basically one. what I'm doing. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, Lisa. I really appreciate that. That's what we're showing today. So again, using a purple, it's a bit more of a lighter purple. You can mix it with a bit of black to make it slightly darker. So I'm mixing my own colour there, as you can see. Getting the purple, getting the black, mixing the two together. We've got uh, Wendy Sheel is saying that she's a huge fan of those palettes and from she's been an elf customer for, for quite a while and she's saying that she's noticed the formula has come on so much um, in those palettes. For the price? Oh, yeah, she's a huge, ridiculous. huge fan Who's of them. So using it like a gel, like formula, using the brush flat on. Creating like a bold line. Is that something you were after, Amy? Yeah, a bold line would be fab. I think I, I'm at the moment. I'm looking at different eyeliners, and colour is one of those things that I'm I'm a little bit scared of. But then need to know how to do it in the right way. So maybe a different eyeliner with a different colour. It's a good tip as well if you've got eyeliners, gel eyeliners at home that are drying out. Yeah. Chuck a bit of primer in it. Nice. Mix it up. Nice. Yeah. I mean, you've all got stuff in the bottom of the cupboards. You know, we're all you know, running out of money and thinking, oh my God, I got that there, I need another colour. And just grab that out of the cupboard, chuck a little bit of eyeshadow primer in there, massage it into the product, and that'll give you a bit more to play with then. Close your right. eye for me. I know some people are asking in YouTube and, um, and getting messages from the team upstairs as well for a close-up um, close up on the eye, if yeah. possible. So if we can... Yeah, I think what's happened is, guys, that we've had to turn the Skype machine ah, yes. um, on and that meant we had to forgo a camera. So, um, unfortunately, Pleasure. you know, the technical issues here, guys. When uh, the it's gold what Hannah's doing now and, and, and it's actually great. So And especially the trend this season is purple, spring and summer. 
Um, so it's really important that yeah. we use the, the ongoing trend in colour um, so that we're bang on trend really and it's just exactly. so easy if you've got all these colours to play with at home you don't have to buy an eyeliner it's there for you in a palette you don't have to go anywhere you've got get your eyeshadow primer £1.50, £2.50 glitter primer is really good because you've obviously got the sheer butter and the jojoba in there and it's really easy to play with it so if we leave the look like that now, we'll come back after the Skype calls and we'll try mm. and give you a close-up of the look or if someone can take a picture and get it on Twitter, that's the way we'll have to roll I'll with that. Um, you know, it is uh, obviously <coughs> a bit of a disjointed show here today, but we're, you know, what's... We're uh, working through it, we're working uh, yeah, through it. And these mistakes only make us better in the long run, guys, you know, and, uh, you know, people are still watching us and, and I'm actually enjoying it now. It makes me a little bit more relaxed when everything happens, but... I think I've got it working now, you know, I, I don't want, I wouldn't put money on this working, but um, I am going to give another shot now if Gary's ready to uh, the Skyposaurus. So big drum roll and we're going to make our first uh, call dun, via dun, dun, the Skyposaurus. And hopefully you'll be able to hear us, it's, looks like you'll be able to hear us, see us and uh, audio chat, chat. and everything will be working. It's going to be beautiful. And only me and Hannah in the studio will be able to hear at the moment, but Ashley, can you hear me? Hello, I can hear you. Absolutely Woo brilliant, we got it working. <laughs> Thank you so Yay. much for sticking with us. How are you? I'm good. It's an absolute honour to speak to you. I, I feel like I already know you. We've been uh, sort of watching your videos here in the offices of all your, your elf lippies and your, your YouTube channel is such a sort of uh, homage to elf products. We really appreciate it. Oh, I love doing it. Like, I love elf. I've been buying it for the last six, seven years. So it really, you know, even when I lived in Canada, I was buying it before I moved to Ireland. So. Ah right. Uh, are you are you a, can a native Canadian then, li living in Ireland or? Yes, I am. <laughs> ah, excellent. So you knew the brand when you were buying it in America, and uh, and yeah, you followed it over here. That's absolutely brilliant. How how long have you been yes. blogging and and skyping? About uh, four YouTube. years. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's absolutely great. And 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 are you enjoying the show formats? I know you've joined us for most of them. Yes, I do. I like them. I, I see the improving the improvement that you guys have been making as well. No, that that's great. You might not sort of believe the improvements when you see. Well, it feels worse, I think, on this end when when things start to go wrong. But uh, like that's I true. said earlier, it's uh, it's all helping us get better, and 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 people like yourself contributing to the show, and um, you know, sending in your feedback, comments, getting in the group. It, it really sort of yes. makes it all worthwhile from our side, and uh, we really appreciate it. So uh, that's great. Which part of Ireland are you living in? I live more towards the west side, so oh. kind right. of near Galway. Uh, have you been having a lot of wind and rain down that way uh, recently as, as well? Um, yes, loads of rain, flooding. Um, we actually had snowstorms today, so wow, it's snow been as well. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, uh, I, w I don't know if you follow rugby, but uh, I watched Wales versus Ireland, <laughs> and uh, a big congratulations to Ireland for, for beating us in the rugby. Yes, we did well. <laughs> yeah, he did really well indeed. Ashley, it's been absolutely brilliant talking to you. I am going to get awesome your details. We've, you I think we've got your details anyway, and we're going to we're going to sort of get some things over on um, you know a parcel sent out to you. But um, hey, more to review. <laughs> excellent. Yeah, we look forward to seeing the YouTube videos. But you know, we'll, we'll keep in touch on on the group and and on the chat. It it, it has been great to meet you face to face, uh, and hopefully one day we'll we'll get to to meet in person. Maybe. Uh, on, a, on an event or something like that but uh, yes that'd be awesome now i really appreciate you uh, coming on the show and uh, uh, thank you very much for having me excellent so uh, everyone that's ashley tian and get over to her youtube channel She's which amazing. Uh, we'll be blogging we out hannah the, yeah we'd love to in get you involved well. more in the show thank and uh, stuff like that so massive thank, thank you. you i'm going to try and cover another uh, skype call now just because we've uh, we've got it working it Bye. might it might not work Good. for a while but Really great talking to you, Ashley, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Thanks for all your involvement. Bye, Ashley. Thank you. Take Thanks care for your support. Now. Bye. Bye.
Yay! Yes, that's it. It worked and that is absolutely brilliant. Buzzing. Massive thank you to Ashley for, for getting involved. Um, just to sort of fill everyone in in the studio, I can hear her. She can hear everything we're saying. She can see the output as it's coming out of the TriCaster when we when we show it. So I don't know what everyone in the studio thinks or or in the twi uh, in the chat room. Shall shall we make another call? Like, okay. you know, yeah, please, do it. Right, we're on a roll. Please we're let me know if you, if we should make another call. I did have to hang up on a couple of people earlier. Let's so. do Lisa. Everyone is well stocked now with their teas and coffees, maybe even a biscuit. And we're trying out a few more now. Maybe Lisa's getting a coffee at the moment, or she's <laughs> she's having maybe second thoughts about coming live on the show now. Hope not. Oh, it's the tension. It's oh, the, the tension. tension mounts. Too much. As we call. Looks like we're struggling to get through. I think we've learned a bit of a lesson that um, what we'll do is, is is get the caller in advance of of the live stream so that we avoid any of these sort of like people not answering. But that's a, a lesson learned. I did hang up on on, on someone earlier, so I'm going to try one more call, guys, and then we're gonna we're gonna wrap up the show here because uh, things have gone gone on quite a while. Um, let me try one more video because I did have to hang up on the on on Miss L J Beauty earlier. Miss L J Beauty, I know you as Miss L J Beauty, so I can't really call you Miss L J Beauty. I don't know. Lisa. It's Lisa, is it? Are you sure? Perhaps she yeah. prefers to be called Miss L J Beauty. You'll have to ask. Miss L J, I always call Ms. her. Ms. She loves it. Maybe with all I these technical too. issues, people, you know, it's coming up to four o'clock. I'm sure people it's got loads to do and uh, the kids are coming out of school and things like that. So um, we won't go with it for too long. Um, oh, it looks like we've got some, some activity here. Miss LJ Beauty, can, can you hear us? I think everything's coming through on our end. Miss LJ Beauty can't quite um, see or hear you, unfortunately. I'm going to uh, hang up there and take a call now from Lisa Prince, who's calling back. Hello, Lisa. Hi. Oh, I'm wow, bright. That, that's a bright, that's a bright <laughs> screen. You've that got is there. a bright screen. Ah, oh, brilliant. Hi, 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 Lisa. How are you? My house is so bright. <laughs> just, I'll sit on the stairs, it's a little bit darker here. Have you got plenty of lights on there or is it just very sunny? For, for some strange reason there's a thing called sun entered the UK. <laughs> well, we've not, we've not seen any of it down this way, that's for sure. What, what part of the UK are, we, are you calling from? County Durham. County, hey. County Durham, yes. Great to hear from you. Thanks so much for getting involved. Oh, I wouldn't miss it. I love it. I know. You've been watching all the shows and getting involved, and we really sort of appreciate all your comments. It's been absolutely brilliant. It's an excellent show, and we all have thumbs up for you as all. You're doing a great job. Oh, we're oh thank you. That's brilliant. We're trying to do it for the sort of beauty blogger community and, uh, you know, get as many of you guys involved as possible. So... Yeah, even when things go wrong, it's sort of uh, it's all good fun. We, it's we, a good we, entertainment. We really enjoy it anyway, so you wouldn't it's, be... It, it, it is, it's been really nice. It, it, we're getting a lot of the bloggers uh, starting to get to know each other through Beauty Crowd and the Elf Show as well, so it, it's been a, a great success on that on that point. Ah, that's absolutely oh, great oh, to hear that to hear uh, bloggers are making new friends. Um, in the community. So how long have you been um, an ELF customer and uh, following the ELF brand? Um, it was, to be honest, it was only from last year, the beginning of last year. Yeah. Um, I started off using your um, the eyeshadow uh, primer ah. and the enhancer pen. In, in champagne by any chance? Or? <laughs> 
Oh, brilliant. It's, it's, great to, it's great to sort of hear from ELF customers firsthand and uh, you, you decided to then sort of start following us on Beauty Crowd and get involved in the group and... I did, yes, I'm in the group. I'm always there, <laughs> always chatting on. <laughs> yeah, and uh, how long have you been sort of doing your blog now? Um, I, I did have one previously for the little ones um, oh, because, as yeah. you know, I'm mum of seven. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I was pretty busy. <laughs> Wow. Um, so I, I only started the beauty one um, last August for the one that I uh, on the site that I am now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's coming along nice. How, how, how do you find time to do that with with seven kids? It's a. Uh... They're all they're all at school. So during school hours, it's, it's good. I get all the planning and everything then, and all the photographs if needed, doing then and then. Once they're in bed on a night time, I can get the jotting down and do yeah. the social networking. It's Luckily just... they're all at uh, Messy Church after school today so I get an extra couple of hours. Oh that's great and there's a, a mad rush then of juggling everything to get them all in fed and, and off to bed. Most like. definitely it's like uh, feeding the zoo. <laughs> 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 oh well we've been we've been thinking of sort of extending beauty crowd in the future to sort of bring in some mummy bloggers and have chats you know from different elements of the community beauty bloggers mummy bloggers or beauty bloggers that are, are mums who you know who, or dads even you know I, i've got two sort of young kids myself and it's uh it's Make uh, up tutorials on dads why not <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I, I think I'd look more like a clown, but uh, yeah, my kids are only one and two, so uh, it'd be a bit more face painting, I think, than makeup at this stage. So. <laughs> oh, but thanks ever so much for getting involved in the call. It's um, it's great to talk to you. I, I you know I'd love to sort of to chat on, but um, we've got uh, one other Miss L J Beauty is trying to sort of call us back now, and uh, she she'd love to get involved in the conversation. So um, hopefully we can do this again as we sort of start to you know get your your guys feedback and get you know build in the community and things like that. You you're you're one of our ambassadors and early adopters, so we really appreciate. Uh, uh, we really appreciate it. It's a joy, it really is. Thank uh, you for calling me. Thanks very much, and we'll get some products out to you. Thank you very much. Okay, take care Bye. now. Speak to you soon. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thank Bye. you. Bye, Bye. now. Bye. <laughs> That's great. The Skypasaurus is changing the face of Beauty Crowd TV and Elf Cosmetics show in the future. It's absolutely fantastic to hear from Elf customers and uh, and well just have a chat really it's Definitely. absolutely brilliant you know this is sort of still the early stages where we're just having uh, a bit of light-hearted conversation but i suppose we could do things like this with people who've got products in front of them they've got involved in the look as, Definitely. It's, as it's gone along there's so many like ideas that we've spoken about as well of getting bringing everybody in so if we do do something where you know we can do a first impression show i know we've spoken about stuff like that so yeah yeah. I think it's going to make such a difference. I'm really Maybe excited. we could launch sort of like new products, send them out to 10 sort of uh, community members and then call those guys on Skype as, yeah. uh, uh, as we do a live show or something Definitely. like that. So, okay. And we've now got the close-up cam back online. Um, so if you wanted to sort of take a look at what Hannah right was now. doing earlier, that's uh, on your screen now. So, yeah, really, really great. Right, guys, I think we are going to sort of wrap it up there. Um, anyone that I didn't get to call on Skype today, uh, Miss LJ Beauty, um, Stacy, Danielle, Rachel, Georgina, there's, there's loads of you guys on Skype that we haven't had a chance to speak to. Um, unfortunately, we're not going to have a chance to sort of uh, make any more calls today. Um, we are live on Thursday evening for the Beauty Crowd uh, show um, and Skype will be featuring on there so we're going to definitely get more of your calls in there and uh, we will have it tried and tested and it will work first time, definitely. I can promise. And get in touch if you do want to come on the show like beforehand and we can load everybody up ready and yeah. we'll even get you with the lower thirds so you can be directing people through to your Twitter and your 
I'm committing to Gary to this now, but to your blog and things like that. So let us know if you want to come on and then we can prepare everything yeah. in advance as well. I think that's the best way is, you know, preparation. It's great to do things off the cuff and have a laugh with it. But, uh, you know, we start to get things prepared. Miss LJ Beauty, um, I just can confirm that her name is Laura, not Lisa. Laura, so, it's Laura. So. Um, yeah. Yay. <laughs> Laura, if you are up for it, when we do, and you're available on Thursday, we'll definitely be giving you a call. I know we've had loads of Twitter conversations and stuff. I've already, been having so great Twitter conversations with, yeah, with her as well. She's been fab. Hannah and you are bezies now, so. Uh, wow, well, I got. I only just bought a, a, a bee candle because she featured it on her blog, and I literally want my house to smell beautiful. So, yeah, I ended up buying one yesterday online because she put a blog up. What's that? Bee candle. Bee candle. Yeah, yeah, beeswax. Beeswax, candles. So that's actually some way that we could link. If we could get those products on the show, we could have a chat with Miss LJ Beauty and, you know, we can talk about other things because, you know, it's not you know, strictly beauty, but household aromas, feeling nice and, uh, you know, relaxing at home. I, I see it as a, a great opportunity to talk about other products. So, Definitely. you know, if you guys are at home and you want to get involved in Skype to Sorry, say, I'm oh, I, I've tried this new scrub or I've <coughs> tried this new, like, low cost makeup brand. It doesn't have to be Elf, you know. Um, this is the Elf show, but in the future we'll be talking about all sorts of products. Yeah. So and it's, um, it's like things that make you feel better. So whether that is a candle, whether yeah. that's a certain, uh, like a pr different kind of product, like Neil said, like if it's a scrub or a bath, pr bubble bath or anything like that, we're really interested. There are some interesting products that are currently on the Beauty Card website, which are about kind of lifestyle and that treatment side of things. Um, which we'll be looking into in the future as well. So we'll be bringing that through on BCTV live shows coming up soon. Yep. So, yeah. yeah, this show actually started out today on Elf Cosmetics as a, a pilot show. So we've been directing Elf customers um, to, to the show today. Um, if you are just tuning in or you've just sort of tuned in and you wonder what's going on, well, uh, it's a good fun community to get involved with. Elf customers, beauty crowd, um, beauty blogger customers. It's, it's, it's all great fun. Um, what will be happening is Hannah's going to be going away for a couple of weeks. Um, where are you going, Hannah? Dominican, Dominican Republic. It? I haven't mentioned it. I didn't know. It's all right for some. <laughs> um, meanwhile, we'll be tirelessly working away here to bring you the Elf Show live every week for the foreseeable future. And episode yeah. one is going to happen in about four to five weeks time. We're going to have everything tested, everything set up properly. We'll, be, we'll be using the Beauty Crowd shows as a pilot um, to, to sort of make our mistakes. And the Elf show is going to be so slick, you're not going to know what's hit you guys. So um, thanks to all the Elf customers, all the Beauty Crowd uh, followers. Our regulars as well, big shout out to our regulars, um, LJ Beauty, Frozen Rose, Kitty Kems, KP Says What, she's a newbie from last week watching Heidi's um, programme and then we've got Br British Beauty Blogger as well so thank you. Yeah, big, big shout out to, to Jane Cunningham, the British beauty blogger. And if you've enjoyed the show, please do tell other beauty bloggers about it because, you know, we'd love to sort of get more people well, involved. Well, beauty lovers in the as well, like anybody who's into, yeah, interested in beauty. Exactly. It'd be great passionate. to have your feedback. If you're passionate about products and, and beauty, then do get in touch. Um, and I guess that leaves, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it there. I want to thank the guys in the customer service. Um, and everyone here in the studio, Gary in the control room. Today's been a particularly stressful show for Gary, so uh, we'll have to buy him a pint or something Good a bit Gary. later. But um, do get involved. Please feedback at Beauty Baron on Twitter. Come and be brutally honest. Did you enjoy the show? You know, and uh, I'll uh, I'll look to improve Any it. Any ideas we'll as well? That'd be great. Night. Send your ideas in. Yeah. Keep Definitely. it coming, guys, and we'll see you live on Thursday for the BCTV live show. Don't miss so, it. Thanks, everyone. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Cheers.